shit. I didn't know this. That's how y'all giving it up? We are recording, man. Oh. What's up? Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Hit my air horn. Yes, we are here. Let me turn this down. Oh, and this Nipsey album got me really excited over the weekend. Word. Oh my God, what is this? What is this bliss? I'm prolific. Have you heard this part? Like I'm the type that's gonna go get it. I'm playing it. Okay. Headphones are super trash. Damn. All right, so let me ask you this. Do you hear this beat? Let's go. Last night it was a cold oh, killer. Oh, if you would answer your phone. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Indeed. I, was, no, I was waiting by my phone. You are not very waiting by your phone. I'm always All right, so listen phone. to this. I'm, I'm not entering the podcast yet, and y'all are saying you're yeah, right. However, Ice can attest to this. I only heard this Nipsey album because Ice came and blasted it in my house all weekend long, 17 hours straight. As he should have. You know Ice swears he's from Crenshaw. <laughs> yes. When this came on? Maul, have you heard this? Listening to music at the Maya Rowans. What is happening here? It's the, it's the only shit I've been listening to since last Friday. How do you get past the intro? Or, there's some shit on that album though. This is what makes me mad about niggas that do their intro like this. He knew this was fire. <laughs> he knew this was fire to start this album like that. Why you cut it off at four minutes? Ah, uh, I need ten minutes of this. Can't express how carpet Oh my god. Nah, he got on his Rick what? Ross shit with picking beats. What is this? Yes. So, there might be one bad, not even bad beat. There might be one mediocre beat on the whole album. But he had Diddy help. But let me like. Did, on one song, I think. It said, I thought he was on, like executive it producer. Says, it says executive producer and executive composer, and that term I've never even heard. Who said that? Did he? It's on the back of the credits. They have highlighted executive producer and right underneath executive composer, Sean Puffy Combs. That's interesting. Uh, but Nipsey has always picked a good beat. Yeah, but this is this, this some album shit. Like this, he was putting together an album when he made this. This wasn't a mixtape. Like, I feel like every beat he sat, he sat through fifty beats to get to one for every single record. Hey, plus, Kaz got budgets now. Right. Shit. You hear Stacy though? Hey, what? Stacy, I love you. And there's not a wasted verse on this album, fam. I didn't mean to start with uh start talking about Nipsey, yeah. but. <laughs> Mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two, we are here. No, no Joe Button. Welcome to the Joe no, Button Podcast, no, episode number one, at 150? Yeah. Hey, we are finally out of the fucking 140s. Boy, that was a long time coming. Uh, episode number 150, I am your host, Joe Button. To my right is Maul and Parks. To my left is Rory and Savon. And we have Erickson here. How are you? How are you, gentlemen? Wonderful. Erickson is here because unfortunately we had to let go of new Chris Brown. Damn, I would have loved a aw or something to come in on the sound effect. I didn't know we were gonna talk about it, so we talk about everything. All right, guess. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Brown, you're fucking out of here, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Now, I like new Chris Brown. No, that's our guy. That's our guy. But he put the video out Friday at nine PM. That's not gonna cut. Say, Savon, you knew he was gonna fire, right? You knew. I know he knew. <laughs> <laughs> I know Savon knew. Savon was in the Texas copping some pleas. Ian tried for to, 48 hours. Ian wanted to fire new Chris Brown on Friday. I said, don't you fucking dare ruin a nigga's weekend with that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. you hit him Monday, man. <laughs> and ruin his week? <laughs> Don't ruin a nigga's Save Friday. Weekend. Save his weekend. Yeah, your Friday yeah. with the your fired. Let a nigga go spend some money he thinks he's going to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't do that. So shout out to Chris, uh, new Chris Brown, gone but not forgotten. You're our guy. Gone uh, but not forgotten. Because he's not forgotten. <laughs> he's, he's, still, he's still around. Um, and that's that's about it. So how how how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? I hope you guys are in a talkative mood. I'm feeling great. We can see that. I'm cool. I'm cool. It's great. The weather's great. I feel great. 70 degrees in New York. I know nobody else in the world gives a fuck about New York, but 70 degrees in New York, the end of the world is near. Yes, Ma? Oh, yeah. We'll be dead in 10 years. You are a believer in that? Yes. Okay. Look at you guys Wait, what's politicizing the weather because the Democrats said we'll so. Be dead. Oh, okay. 
Is my my mic- president said global warming doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah. If you believe that you're going to be dead in 10 years, then what are you doing all this healthy eating shit for? I'm trying to make this the best 10 years. Well, uh, wouldn't you want to do the opposite? I've no. seen some drug addicts last for like 20 years, and they seem cool. Yeah, I'm not going to roll with dice on that. Though. I'm not going to cool. talk about mine or your family. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Um, so I'm assuming that you guys are up to date with everything that has goings on. Yes, huh? in plural form. Yeah, pretty much. I'm I'm well, aware. We should start with All Star Weekend, right? I'm aware is. Let a what? Aware is. He was plural. Is that a real word? No, no, it is now. Let's let's start with All Star Weekend. Uh I thought it was trash. I didn't catch anything. Yeah. Maul heard me saying how trash I thought it was. In, in what regard? The Duck I, Hawks All-Star Saturday was trash. The game Joe said was going to be whack, and I told him it was I was wrong about game. that. The game was good. I was yeah, wrong was about that. Game. The game was good. The All-Star Saturday. Except for all the performances. I'm, for, I'm uh, giving y'all preemptive conversations that I had with Maul prior to any of the activities taking place. Okay. I told him that, you know, Saturday is normally, for me, my favorite night of All Star Weekend. I never really care much about the game. Yeah, yeah, the game is kind of pointless. Yeah, and until that game that Magic Johnson came back and bled on everyone. That was that game. That was the shit. Remember, <laughs> Carl Malone wasn't giving a fuck. Man, get this nigga off me. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Malone said, "Check me out of this game." This is <laughs> second degree manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and they got this nigga on the hardwood. <laughs> Hardwood was the problem. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck up. All right, all right. All right, anyway, but that was the all-star game that I paid attention to, right? So I I don't normally care about that, but Saturdays are normally great. The skills challenge in recent years has vastly improved to me, Um, along with the three-point contest, and Zach Levine and and homeboy Eric Gordon, I feel like, brought the dunk contest back. So I've been into it. And this year, the contestants of the dunk contest and the three-point contest really got me into it. I, I, I will not lie to you. The dunk contest was a letdown. Really? I thought it was kind of dope. That's I just kinda, I just what, watched the highlights. Don't know dope shit. Yeah, they got uh, no dope they, shit. They, they got to get rid of that that two round shit. Yeah, that yeah. Shit that is, is suit. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Oh, okay, okay. What I thought I mean, some of the dunks themselves. Were oh no, 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 no. Those were great. Were fi- yeah. Those were great. Yeah. I'm, I get my issue is format. Yeah, the length. The contestants were great. The the missed dunks were great. Yeah. If Oladipo would have caught that behind it, whatever the fuck he yeah, tried to do, yeah, yeah. oh man! So the missed dunks were great. Everything was great, but the form that format is trited to dash. Four not, four yeah. players are alone is kind of trash. Isn't that what it was? Four. It might have been six. It might have been six originally. I, I'm not sure. I'd have to fact check that. But I'm not mad at four players if you're going to give me a dunk off at the end. Yeah, that shit was light. Don't. What are we doing? The semifinal determines the final. Where three contestants go. Wasn't that yeah. the same for the three point contest? I'm sitting there arguing with Maul. Yeah, it was three three shooters in the final round. That's trash. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Trash. I, that's, the fans, that's the first time they did it, right? Yeah, no, nah, I, I think, think they did it like that. I've no, never three, remember. I don't three know. Three in the final. I think that yeah, was I don't the know. First, I, think I don't know. The first time they did it. I, I don't remember last. I year think the fans true. deserve to see Devin Booker and Clay Thompson, two niggas who look exactly the same, <laughs> duel it out. <laughs> yeah. Just the jersey telling them apart. Yeah. Yeah, and the haircut. Devin got that stupid shit on his head. Although I picked. Uh, Donovan Mitchell to win last week on the show. Uh, Dennis Smith got robbed though. I thought Dennis he had the best. Smith I thought he had the best dunk. He had the best. Easily dunk. That had the, legs, the best yeah. dunk. Which hand shit was he the had same. best dunks? But I they got to get rid of second best. They got to get rid of uh, these celebrity judges. You can't let Khaled and, and Mark Wahlberg <laughs> judge a dunk contest and they never dunked. When is the last time that Khaled <laughs> jumped? Yeah, like you got to. I get what he's trying to do, but they, that has to No, stop. I think that's a valid question. If you ain't even home jumping, yeah. then how the fuck <laughs> you going to come and tell me about my jump? Will you yeah. be at home jumping? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be home doing I'd be fighting. I'm shooting J's in the trash. At home is when you get into all your fake athletic shit and tough shit still. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah. I'd be, yeah. I come to your house and hit him with a three pull up set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is Park's talking about? Yeah, I jump at home. You, you be pressing your dogs? Yeah, crossing cool. them over. You never know when it'll happen, man. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, Ma, me and Maul watched all that shit, and boy, Maul was tearing Khaled ass up. Like, why is Khaled the tough judge up here? <laughs> yeah, like, no, he was. He was short and people giving out eights. That's my point. Sevens. Like, come on, man. You can't let Khaled give you an eight on a dunk. I guess I guess we, in fact, are not the best. Yeah, but Dennis Smith, he definitely got robbed. He had the best dunks. His scores just didn't match that. Khaled took Dr. J. Dr. J used to be a hater, too. Yeah, yeah he did. 
Dr. Yeah. J is the biggest Michael Jordan hater on the planet, by the way. I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> so Khaled is the Simon I think Cowell. I'm, I think I'm quickly becoming the second, by the way. Like, you can pull up. You, you <laughs> Honestly. Can, YouTube all of Dr. J's interviews about when they ask him about Michael Jordan. Well, because he probably feels, like, slighted or something. Some degree. Wow, they wasn't even in the same era. But they don't I, don't, I don't think that Dr. J gets the credit he deserves, honestly. No, I think Dr. J gets the credit he deserves. You think so? Yeah. For sure. He was the original. His name was Dr. J and he didn't have a J. <laughs> or, a doctor, or a doctorate. Dr. Dr. J, don't get me started, man. Don't, don't get me started well, he was a, he on some of the older doctor. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah, that's Them that. niggas was high as hell in the 70s, though, man. <laughs> yeah. Them niggas didn't know what the hell they were seeing. Yeah. And Dr. J did do some amazing shit and he inspired some amazing things from amazing people. But, but he's a hater. He's definitely a hater. Well, old people Dr. are haters. Dr. That's J true. better not step in the same park as Vince Carter when it comes to a dunk. I don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah, no. I don't want to hear it. Vince don't is, tell me Vince about it. Anybody, yeah, I don't think anybody wants to yeah, step Vince. in the park. Uh, who redid Vince. the Vince dunk? Because I thought that was terrible. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. I didn't like <laughs> I, I thought it was trash. <laughs> it was I'm with Khaled on that one. I didn't <laughs> think he did a good rendition. He just but put Don, the jersey But you got to remember, Donovan Mitchell is not, like, he's not as tall as Vince. Yeah. Still. Yeah. All right, then don't do the dunk. So it's like you know you gotta you gotta nah you gotta do the dunk yeah you gotta do the dunk he he should do the Spud Webb dunk it it was weak if he's not as tall Dennis Smith Jr. easily had the best dunk of the night number one the first dunk he attempted that he missed that they did not show us where we just heard the whole building go oh shit what the fuck (laughs) had he completed that dunk along with his second dunk he's easily in the next round. But because the NBA allowed Nate Robinson to miss 97 dunks, <laughs> yeah. this man gets shorted. And I thought it was cool that he, he had one of the more original ones with the second backboard and all that shit. Yeah, the double tap. Oh, that's yeah. uh, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, that was Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. That, that was his first dunk. Yeah. That was his first dunk. Yeah. I like Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, me too. Two, two, two amazing guards that the Knicks passed on. Boy, was I sick to my stomach. The Knicks did pass on Donovan Mitchell. <sighs> damn. Don't I mean, damn. We, have, Knicks. We, have, we have Frank. We have Frank. <laughs> I hate Franks. <laughs> I ain't made a Frank in I, don't want, I ain't made a Frank in ages. Keep any Frank at your barbecue away from um, Yo, so Paul George gets up there at the three-point contest, right? We're in the crib having barbershop talk, shooting the shit. Here come Maul, want to be the contrarian. Oh, he might win it. <laughs> I said, Maul, 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 check this out, dog. Paul, no, Paul George in a three-point okay. concert. I said, Paul George about to get up here no, and I didn't, do no, nothing no, no, but I embarrass didn't, himself. I didn't say he might win it. I and then Maul said, well. oh, y'all got Paul George all the way fucked up. And then Paul George started shooting. And then all we heard was, ding, yeah. ding, yeah. ding, ding, yeah. ding. I could have scored nine. Yeah, that was terrible. He could have stayed home with that shit, for real. What do y'all think about, uh, what do y'all think about Jimmy Butler not playing in the All-Star game? I wasn't aware that it, what was I just his? realized he didn't play. Jimmy Butler did not play in the All Star game. They asked him about it. He said he was uh he was grateful because he was a little tired and he wanted to rest. So then Lou Will heard that interview and he got at him on Twitter. He said, Yo, L O L, you can't be fucking serious. Lou Will, who was who probably should have Made been eligible to yeah. be an all star if you weren't gonna play. Right, right. Lou Will, somebody who's been a six man his entire career, and this is the year where he got the time to really show and prove, both in Houston and LA. I could see him having a real issue with that. Yeah, man, he was just hungover. Oh wait, so he, he didn't announce rest. until no, like, everybody was hungover. <laughs> he, he was a game he time was drunk. decision. Did not play Butler. No, they didn't announce anything. Mm. They just played the game, and he didn't play. So oh, they, that's a- foul, they asked him about it afterwards. They could have had a replacement for him. Yeah, that's the that's it, trash. That, you you can't you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Maul told me though a few months ago that you know all of these niggas in the league with these special clauses in their contract for all these things that kick in if they make the All Star team. If that's true in Jimmy Butler's contract, then I mean, are we mad at him? What is he going to say? No, don't make me an All Star. <laughs> yeah, don't give me extra bread. I'm not mad at him, but still, even no, though I, I, I was real mad. Look, I, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I was I was angry looking at Carl Anthony Towns on crutches all weekend. He was on crutches. He was on some. Why you say that? He played Carl Anthony. No, I'm, I'm talking about Demarcus Cousins. I'm oh, sorry. Demarcus. Uh, okay. Demarcus Cousins. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, but he got he 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 was uh he got voted in though, so he had to be there. <sighs> Do you? 
the fans voted him in. I don't want to see him there on crutches, man. I mean, I get it, but you know, he had to just show up. And I liked course. Anthony Davis wearing a Demarcus Cousins jersey. That was cool. Yeah, that was dope. I, I, I enjoyed that. Yeah. What else was really interesting this All Star weekend? Any, any, uh, oh, Ma, don't come in here and try to get calm. Come on, give us your your Raptor deep dive. Yeah, I, <laughs> yo, honestly, man, listen, man, the jig is up with Kyle Lowry and uh, the Rosen. I understand, but I don't know how Lowry is a full time All Star. Yeah, I don't get it, man. He can't, you know. Every time I see him out there, he's turning it over. He's getting a layup block. I mean, I, I, I mean, I get it based on the winning percentage and all of that. But it's like he's not an All Star. I don't think Kyle Lowry's an all-star. I don't think he's... You don't think his numbers dictate him being an all-star? It's not It's not the numbers, because he has he has good you don't, numbers. His but skill set, when you watch yeah, him... Yeah, it's your, like in that game... Your eye test. I hate yeah, when like, it's say like, that. He, I don't want to... <laughs> he don't have that game, that all-star game. Have he you played him? Have I played him? No. <laughs> but I'm just saying... How you I'm know, just, nigga? Just looking at him, I'm, every, every year we look at him play an all-star game. You never remember anything about him playing an all-star game. And he's been there four years. Yeah, but he, I mean, he's from the six. I don't care. He's from Philly. The six is hot right now. He's from Philly. He's from Philadelphia. He plays in Toronto. All right. Well, God's plan got him to the six. Okay. All right. God's plan. I just don't want to see him in an all-star game anymore. I'm sorry. DeRozan might have cost him the game. He missed Maul the free had throw. a conniption at DeRozan. See, that's what I don't like about Maul. Yeah. Maul be screaming at the TV, threw a sneaker at the TV, I just for him to come in here Tuesday and be cool about DeRozan. Come I on. know. I, I understand DeRozan because he is one of the best two guards in the league. So I understand that he mm. will be an all star. But but he shouldn't be he, in the corner baseline when Steph is no. trying to fade away right move. for three. Yeah, yeah, cut. <laughs> Get open. Do something. Why like, the fuck is DeRozan hiding in the corner, standing there watching? Why is DeRozan? In no, the- not only. But hold on. You got to remember, he missed the free throw. Right, he missed a he missed a pivotal free throw. Then he came down and threw that shit clean out of bounds. When he drove to the basket, he had a layup. Right. And decided to pass it out to the three and threw that shit in, in, out of bounds. And then it's like you end up with the ball in your hands in the corner with no time left and can't get a shot up. It's like, well, on, well, let's talk about that because there was a man on the other side of Steph that he seemed to have look off real quick. Harden seemed to now, be right there open. Don't get, don't get are, it twisted. Are we going to deep dive into that one, into no, the I, James and Steph beef? No, listen. J- LeBron and, and KD was, was trapping Steph immediately as soon as he got the ball. So it is hard to get a pass. LeBron, KD, and Paul George. They was not letting that light skin nigga shoot a three. Yeah, but it's like somebody got to gotta move. Yeah, I mean, no, I get it. He was, but it was like, where was he going to pass to? He was, he was trapped. But my thing is, somebody got to move. You can't just stand at the three like something. somebody got to move, man. Someone gotta yeah, do something. like do something. Like the Rosen just. Clumsy. <laughs> it's clumsy, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop the tape, man. Hold on. Man. Are we good. I'm, sure? to wipe the- I'm, I'm fine. Everything. Yeah, but you're, it's on your laptop. I, want I your- don't even use my laptop oh, okay, for fine. anything. Joe just had a. a Joe what do moment. people still use laptops for? A laptoping. I don't really use mine anymore. It's over. It's over. It's nothing. Yeah. This shit stores music and plays the air horn. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank. You. That's an expensive air horn. Yeah. Thank did, uh, you. did the fans vote in Fergie too? My uh, nigga, listen, bro. Oh, um, if they did vote her, and we they voted her out immediately, <laughs> fam. No, nah, I saw would. a lot of people supporting Fergie. Like, yo, she was brave. Yeah, brave. why? Why are women always brave? <laughs> brave is what they said, huh? <laughs> uh, she was a lot of other things than brave. Then she too. came out today and said, "I'm sorry." She came out today and said, "My bad." I no, she did. I swear to God. No, she did. She did. <laughs> she apologized. Yes. Yeah, you fucking right. I felt like I was owed an apology. <laughs> you can't apologize for. Come on, man. What? No, you got to apologize. She's oh, crazy you got that, Fergie all the way. What you, you she's just supposed to disappear. Like, we were supposed to see her on the beach she's or something. Like, yeah, like, just let some time pass. You don't come out <laughs> and say, I'm sorry for what I did to the national anthem. She was supposed to blame that on somebody else. Yeah, let me get to come on. Turn up in the headphones, my G. Actually, let, me get, let me get a gunshot. Oh, get some air horns on this. Jesus Christ. Star. <laughs> She sounds like she had water in her ears. <laughs> like she had water in her mouth. <laughs> she had peanut butter in her mouth. <laughs> like she was drowning. <laughs> 
Yeah, that nigga Will I Am was home happy as hell. <laughs> this worked out for me. Yo, the funny shit, the other dude was probably home happy. The Chinese dude, we never found his name out. <laughs> Wait, who's the Chinese? And Black Eyed Peas, the nigga oh, with the long hair and the glasses yeah, that they yeah, never yeah. let say anything. But yeah. see, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about that, though. They'll have people like Fergie on these shows <laughs> judging vocalists. Yeah. That it's like can, having Khaled out there judging dogs. Yeah, like, see, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's shit like that that bothers me because she'll be on there telling uh, someone like Fantasia that they sung a song wrong. Like, <laughs> Let me tell you something. If Fergie ever says anything to Fantasia, Fantasia has the right to hit her. No, not Fan. I'm just saying a woman that can sing like Fantasia on one of these shows, these vocal shows that they have. I bought my mom tickets to the uh, to the Fantasia concert. Uh, it not, has nothing to do with anything. But, <laughs> but to the Fantasia concert in Atlantic City. But I, I guess Fantasia had a death in her family, so she didn't, she didn't show. And uh, after and seven, Fer- Fergie replaced him. No, after seven and a few other groups that you know, shit. I would have rather seen after seven than Fantasia, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, after seven is definitely a probably a better show than Fantasia. And the lead singer's son now is performing with After Seven. I thought that was interesting. That's cool. But whatever, and he looks exactly and sounds exactly like the lead. But whatever. You were saying about Fergie. Yeah, she, so I mean, y'all don't. So y'all don't think she was brave. I don't think no, she was brave. She no. would think she was. Oh, y'all that's, hate that's the go-to whenever women do anything but, wrong. They were brave when they did it. Yeah, are y'all, yeah. are y'all hating? No, they're definitely hating. But I don't think there's a need to hate. I think Fergie hated her performance. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, she right, apologized. y'all are not going to turn the slider up on the artistic. No creative no. integrity no. meter. No, wait. No, I didn't even know there was artistic integrity. <laughs> we don't understand music enough to get what she was doing there. It went no, over no, our heads. No, she attempted to do something <laughs> you just different. Didn't yeah, you don't understand. No, she Fergie. did something different, and it and she just failed at it. Yeah. Why would you have her do a jazz rendition? <laughs> Why would you have very many people at all do a jazz rendition of the national anthem? Yeah, like I don't, I don't understand. I didn't. No one at rehearsals s- was like. This no, is I, not just, I just don't think that's it for Yeah, me. like that ain't it. That's that's my that was my thing. Like as soon as I heard it, I'm like, they green lighted this? Cause you have to rehearse that for an event that big. Man. So it's like, nah, somebody really was like, okay, Fergie, that's you think this maybe is it. you think maybe it might have went di- gone differently in rehearsals? No. I mean from I, what though? No, I don't think it went any different in rehearsal. I think what we saw was her best foot forward. And that shit was terrible. Her feet are fucked up. Yeah, I still can't. I still can't believe she went up there and did that. All they the was bro- better off letting Queen Latifah sing the All Star, uh, the, the national anthem. But I think she would have did a better Pharrell job. Pharrell would have killed that shit. <laughs> I don't want to see at this point. Ludacris would have done a little better. Hey, Ludacris forgot how to be a rapper, man. Did y'all see how yes. awkward he was? His rapper uh, hands. Um, uh, I am so glad that you guys just brought all of this up. I was mad at the background dancers that were but, clapping to a whole but, different beat. That but, shit was oh infuriating. Before the All Star game came, yeah, the chicks in the yellow, right? Yeah, they, they were, were really. Bad. I don't know what they were really clapping off to. Beat. But. I don't know what they was two stepping to. <laughs> Yo, what was that little that little shindig uh, on Sunday before the game with Kevin Hart and uh, and Luda and what, what was that? Yeah, that was like a broad queen. Queen. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah, Fast they, and the Furious promo. Yeah, they was trying to get their Kevin Hart shit is on. replacing Tyrese. That was why, why did we get a, a new Luda verse? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't, why did he wasn't waiting for the new Luda? A new Luda. New Luda is funny. Y'all already know that Luda ranks high with me, but but was anybody asking for the new Luda? It's Sorry, just, Shaka. It, it's just so <laughs> it's just so funny to see like when 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 rappers are so far removed from like performing in hip hop and then they get on stage like his rapper hands were off. Oh man, he was still his rapper hands, hands was mad. I didn't oh, see it. Like, oh my god, you didn't miss off, a thing. Like, Cause you know, Luda's you know his rapper dudes. hands be off. And no disrespect, Dr. Dre always performs with his rapper hands off whenever. Hey, but, I'm not, yeah, mad, but I'm not mad at Dre. He's not really hands. a rapper. Yeah, no, because yeah. he's he's mad buff now, so he don't even know how to rap the way he used to. Nah. Luda, Luda's still rhyming like his. You know, his rapper hands are stuck in two thousand and four. <laughs> Well, shit, Fergie doing National Anthem and Luda dropping new music is a very 04 NBA yeah. All-Star game in, in Philly. But wait, yeah. and, and Luda had on the all-white with the Vanson jacket. I like The Vanson jacket? <laughs> he had an All-Star jacket. That, that was a Vanson All-Star? <laughs> no, it was just an All-Star jacket. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a Vanson. It was not a Vanson. What was that then? It was an All-Star weekend Did jacket. it look like a Vanson? Tell truth. Tell truth. Come on. Yeah, it, could, yeah, it, it wasn't leather, though. It wasn't? It, no. It was the regular, like the, the, the mesh. Whatever, whatever oh, yeah, the mesh Vanson. 
A mesh Vance. <laughs> he looked a little. Yeah, it wasn't a mesh Vance. <laughs> Yo, all right, we love Luda, but nigga, all right, y'all don't want joke on Luda. It's cool. <laughs> no, look at Rory. I didn't terrible. even see. I didn't even see. Look at Rory. Uh, think he's not gonna get signed to disturbing the you peace. You was in LA. <laughs> <laughs> Rory Listen, dying man. to get signed to disturbing the peace. Hey, two chains was. <laughs> Yo, you know what out. I noticed about your little Instagram, Rory? I got a good laugh at you this weekend. Cool. I went to your Instagram, and the shit. Did I was, do much Instagramming? Well, that's part of what I was laughing at. I, yeah, I don't think I, I did went, any. I went there and everything, the first nine pictures just looked super crispy and clean and clear. I'm like, oh my God, is it? Is this really happening? Could this be true? Is Rory one of the guys that's saying, the, let me clean up my Instagram? <laughs> yeah, man. I said, oh my God, Rory's He's archiving. Yeah, this, yeah <laughs> yes. Rory is fucking setting He's up shop on his Instagram. I didn't know. He's got six posts. This shit no. looks great. <laughs> listen, <laughs> Mad ravey pictures. When you don't have a job and all people know of you every week is sitting to the left of this guy, Yo, he looks you so have to important. have the cleanest image that you possibly can. Yo, you can. look so important. I said, oh. I wish I'd have known he was doing that. I wish I would have <laughs> known. Gotta, gotta so clean then, up my act. So then I leave Rory shit and I say, well, shit, maybe I missed something with Maul. <laughs> so I rush over to Maul shit. <laughs> rush over? <laughs> yeah. You rushed on your, yeah, your I hit thumbs were rushing. I, I, hit the search, on Instagram. I hit the search icon quickly and hit M and he just popped right up. And Maul was on his Insta Live topless right. with an <laughs> incense lit. I was smoking weed. I, think, yeah, I, think I, was, I don't think I was an incense. Yeah, like we. I about? saw an incense. It wasn't no incense. I'm not past topless. My story is. <laughs> I'm in the crib on the couch. I'm chilling. Like, but you what? were topless. I'm, yeah, but you act like I was outside. Can, can men be? Topless? He acted like I was outside. So we're no, topless. No, 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 no. wrong being topless. No, no. He was topless, and that's fine. I'm home topless. Yo, right? First of all, first of all, hold on. Topless, is crazy. topless is crazy. Yeah. That, that's topless. what I saw. I when didn't I have got a shirt on. I wasn't topless. Which. <laughs> What the fuck you mean I was but what is that? Wait, so like it was blurred out on his chest on IG Live? No, he was topless and exposed. It wasn't even... <laughs> Yo, he's so full of shit, man. No, because you can be topless. I've been topless before First at all, home. First of all, you couldn't even see... You like, covering your yeah, chest Yeah, nobody like knew. Like, it was just my face in the cam. First of all, don't ever cover your chest as a man. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't ever cover your chest. I don't, want, I don't want my chest exposed. What you mean? <laughs> it's not for the FaceTime participant. That's crazy. Covering your chest in the house. No, of the but so mom, you can be <laughs> topless. Joe cool. like the TLC cover when they was holding their titties. Yeah, <laughs> you tuck the blanket under your armpits like when you lay down in the bed. Like, how you wrap the towel? You wrap the, the towel. towel. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you joking out the shower with the towel at the top? You definitely wrap the, the towel around the with top with the turban joint. Yeah. Wrapped on top. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the yo bla- you wrap yo, the towel you, around the top? The blatant disrespect on this podcast. Yo, nah, I just want to know if you wrap the towel around Maul, the top. No, I don't wrap the towel around <laughs> it. What man wraps the towel around the top? You. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> stop the, Stop trying to reverse my joke back on me. Okay, I'm not off ahead, of bad. you being... Uh, right. This is something I actually saw with my eyes. You okay. just fucking making jokes. Okay. You were topless with I, an incident. I didn't have a shirt on. I wasn't topless. And Bob Marley was playing in it the background. Bob Marley. And then you were singing, trying to... Get like the same accent as him. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you talking So about? I immediately did he what? Is, he is OVO Mall. As the and that's cam- what they do over there. You, Rory. Oh my God. So what did I immediately do? You fucking guessed it. I called my friend. I called Ma. I said, while, yo. While he was topless? I, I said, yeah, you good? Like, I saw you topless on Instagram is with shirt on? Yeah, I can't even be in the crib chilling with no shirt on. <laughs> I said, yo, come over and let's just talk about things. <laughs> well, put a shirt on first. Yo, get, well, you put something on. Get, get, get dressed. Get, get yourself together. Well, Joe called and said, are you decent? <laughs> Cover yourself up. Cover are yourself you decent, up. Maul? Uh, wait, before we go any further, wait, because Maul was super funny on Saturday. So wait, tell the people what you learned or, or, on Valentine's Day. Because that yo, was real man. funny. Every, every woman has an almost boyfriend, yo. It's wild. <laughs> Yo, Every woman has an almost boyfriend. Trust me. I saw a lot of women putting men on their Insta story, not on their actual IG. Yeah. Mm. I haven't really yeah. come up with a theory exactly on what it is no, yet. No, we know what the theory is. But we know what it is. It's temporary. Yeah, we know man. what it is. We know what it is. We can't say it, but we know what it is. Like we just let's, gonna No, I want to talk no, about it. Let's talk about it. I don't let's not No, it just, just every woman has a guy that they're kind of like 
teether in the line with. They're kind of like, is he boyfriend material yet? Is I'm, he not? But I'm more surprised that you find this to be a revelation. Word. No, I, you know I don't find this to be a revelation. It's just funny to see. Well, there was a lot of chicks I didn't know had boyfriends that I found out that day. Just yeah. like when the first day of school come, you're like, you had a kid? What the fuck? <laughs> right, exactly. It was the same shit. Exactly. Same surprise. But they did it on their story, though. Yeah, so maybe that's why I missed. That's maybe that's why I missed it last year. Yeah, it's because they wanted to disappear. Like, yeah, he can't say I didn't put a picture up of us. You know, they playing the game. It's the Dude. game, how man. Would, they how would y'all the feel if a woman put an emoji over your head? Have you seen women do that? Of course. Where, where, or they're like cut off the top of the, their. They head. do that when they're not supposed to be with the dude. That's not. Wait, he what? has a whole family in, at well, home. Women will crop the picture so they'll just have like the dude's body and then them. They'll yeah, and the be like face. Bae, they'll cover his face or they'll cover his face. I'm so sick of women. <laughs> like, what are you doing? But that's that's normal now though. That happens on a regular Thursday. Yeah. That's not just a Valentine's Day thing. They do that when you know you know what it is. They're not supposed to really be with the guy. Did you go Damn. to Did you go to um or the tattoo uh forearm with the watch? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's always. Basic they shit, can't though. wait to get that picture off. <laughs> Especially if it's someone whose tattoos you kind of know who it Word, is. Word, it say their album title on their. Yeah, arm. but they can't really play like that because fame and them be finding them niggas now. <laughs> 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 Yo, these chicks be trying to get trying to get fly like they smarter than fame in the shade. Fame room. will pull up four pictures <laughs> with that nigga at the free throw line like this. <laughs> <laughs> All his tats showing. Yeah, like, yeah, that's him. A yeah. video of him at the session yeah. with the stencil. Yeah. All him ex- accepting his award, holding his shit, <laughs> tats. Yeah, that's him. Did y'all see fucking him with his uh, wife? In the tattoo. Oh, yeah. my bad. Did y'all see Bernice trying to hide from paparazzi while while she was her and Quavo were? Come on, man. Oh man, that she was, was trying to hide through the middle of the crowd. But why? <laughs> she, this, <laughs> she no, we need to talk about the why. Lil Wayne's daughter was hiding with uh, who's that NBA young boy? Really? Yeah, she was hiding in the wraith when when he rolled the window down <laughs> for everyone to see. <laughs> oh man, I, I missed that one. I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, Wayne's got a daughter that's like grown. Yeah. Yeah, she's okay. about twenty, I think. Yeah. Yeah, now. she's grown. 20, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's the that. creepy shit now. Like all the rappers I listen to growing up have like grown kids. Da- daughters that like yeah. if I saw out, yeah. I wouldn't think anything of it. Right. That's creepy. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Like the way Nas raps about destiny, like when I was a kid and I would rap along those lyrics and now like destiny be at the spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit is kinda wild to me. That's definitely Anyways, wild. what were we talking about? Uh, I don't remember. Valentine's Day. Oh, Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. They're synonymous. Yo, so can't be a sugar mama? Am, am, I be, am I being... Uh, sh- all right, here, let me ask you a question and open myself up to some criticism. So, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't feel a way about Bernice being at the All-Star game? <laughs> no. At the All-Star game? Why not? No. No. She's probably anybody to, was going to be there, yeah. it, was gonna, it was Bernice. She's probably been to many Okay, now that's games. the wrong question because Bernice should be at the All-Star game. She's beautiful. I'm judging the 40 year old at the All Star game. I am. I am. Sorry. I, uh, Sorry. Why are you at an All Star game? I'm that she's 40. Now she's dating somebody who was heavily involved then, in all no, the activities. No, no, so I don't care gotta, about that. We got to scale it. We can't be mad at older women being at the All Star because there's a bunch of celebrities that are. I was going to say it. All Star, they, the, they got the old Kenny Smith parties. There's a lot of old right, NBA so players out. there. Yeah. Let, me, let me make it's my. It's not Miami Memorial. Let day. me make my position. She shouldn't be running around with Quavo. So let me. <laughs> Wait, no, you can't say that. At All-Star Weekend. I'm not Why even not? mad at it. Come on, man. Why, what you, what? No. No. What do you mean, no? Nah, come on. Explain. Ah. What does that mean? <laughs> ah. Shit, who the fuck should she be running around with? It's hot as fish grease. Yeah, but come on, man. <laughs> How old is Quavo? I'm uncomfortable. 12. <laughs> but what does that mean? If, if you're hot at 12, then you're hot at 12. Yeah, but that's... How would you feel as we uh, just gotta Bernice's start daughter. calling it what it is, man? Just start calling it what it is. What is it? I'm not gonna be the one to say it, but we just gonna start say calling it. it what it is. Nah, I can't say it. But we know what it is. We know what's going on. No, there. no, Mo. I'm not letting you open this. Educate double, me. I'm not letting you open this. You double don't see standard what's up. going on out here. I know what's going on, and okay. I'm not gonna say it. But the double, it would be a double standard because all of these old niggas is fucking eighteen year olds. Facts. So you can't. So explain it. Walk me through how it's Damn, okay it's for one no and not okay on for the other. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> well, I, think it, I, I, only think, I only think it's a little weird because I think, I, I believe, I don't know exactly how old Quavo is, but I think Quavo and Bernice's daughter is like close in age. That's what I was, I don't know that's you heard what I said. Why, so that's that's got to be kind of weird. weird to me. Well, what's close in age? I mean, Quavo Tw- might be to two 25. years older than yeah. Bernice's daughter, maybe. Might be two years older. That's, that's a little weird to me. Well, Bernice didn't know Quavo would blow up when she had her daughter. 
<laughs> but she knows now. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah. I'm now on, she knows that point, that point made no sense I'm But on, it was just funny I'm, I'm on Bernice's side Quincy Jones is like 95 And he's out here I'm on Bernice's side I yeah, don't know what yeah. Maul is talking about if Quincy Jones no, at I don't, 90 Can fuck listen, 20 I don't, year olds I don't, I don't, it, Listen it, it is what it is But it, it's definitely a little weird Like we just gotta be honest It is a little weird I'm not mad at it Like I don't care But it's just like it's, It is a little weird It's weird I'll only be mad at Bernice When she stopped posting on Instagram Once she stopped there Now we got a beef but live your my life. only rule as a woman would be something. Wait, what's your only rule as a woman? It would be well if I was a hoe, and I would be a hoe. Let me make myself perfectly clear. Wait, pause. What? I would be a hoe if I were a woman. I would be a hoe. You be a thotty? One, nah, with class. <laughs> with class. <laughs> with class. Already copping, please. Wait, yeah, hold on. We gotta woman. talk. Well, why would you? Why are you saying these things? Why would? Why do you know you would be a thot? Because I've already thought about these things. So you. <laughs> So oh. you, <laughs> Yo, I hate so wait, so let me get, I hate when we get into these so like if, mistake no, topics. Hold on, let's just let's just talk about it. So you've thought about being a woman, like if you were a woman, and you thought about the fact that you would be sleeping with multiple men. And how far did those thoughts go? No worry, I'm not. I'm just asking. All these right. are thoughts that you've had. The answer to your question is no. Okay. Now, in speaking to many of the women that I know. Mm-hmm. You know, when they need a shoulder to lean on, need someone to talk to about all that's going on in life that they can't figure out. They want to cry. All I ever, and they all look amazing. Mm. Boy, they look amazing. And what I normally say to myself afterward is, man, y'all don't know how to hoe. (laughs) Y'all are like complete idiots when it comes to hoeing. (laughs) If I look like that (laughs) and I had my brain, I kick because niggas are so easy to get. Niggas oh, are no, the easiest niggas to get in the fucking world. Don't, don't get it twisted. Uh, so what I'm, so what I'm saying got. is any beautiful woman with, woman with a brain, right, that's really going to play the game, not be ashamed, and really get into her shit, man, these niggas is marks. But that's what, These see, niggas that, is fucking but that movies goes back out to what, here, but man. But that goes back to what I was saying. Uh, the women that maneuver like that and that don't really reap the benefits of that is because they haven't accepted what they are. Yeah, they're trying to deny they're what they are. They're trying to deny what they are. Because if we being real, a lot of these women are prostitutes. They're selling sex for monetary gain. Like, if you look at all the men that a lot of these women date, there's not even no similarities in looks anymore. Like, yeah. they're not even, they don't even look the same. That's the number one The only sign. thing they have in common is that they're successful and have money. So that says you're with these men because they're successful and have money. Women that do that are either escorts, prostitutes, Call girls. You're, you're selling sex. But a lot of these women don't want to accept that they are indeed selling sex. They don't I, want to accept that. I would be targeting Shaq. I would be targeting uh, uh, Stanton, uh, Stone the Yankees, <laughs> Aaron Judge. These bitches are on Odell. Odell's on a rookie contract. They just be, they just do it wrong. I know it's coming no, but, later. No, I know it's coming talk, later. I just think see? they no, do it a little different. wrong, man. No, but it's, it's all not, I'm not. It's two different worlds, though. I'm like just where Odell you. be at is not where Aaron Judge be at. And they, not only Odell that, Odell is accessible. Not There's only no that, those types sal- of women. let me let me end everything that y'all are about to say to me. There's no salary cap in baseball. No, we understand. If I'm a hoe. I am hoeing with the baseballers. But that's what you... you Not with fucking Odell because he has a nice fucking haircut. But Joe, you're missing what I'm saying. What are you saying? The reason why women have are doing that wrong is because they haven't fully accepted what they're indeed doing. They haven't accepted you that they're hoeing. In. They haven't accepted that. A lot of these women don't think they're hoeing. This wasn't even a topic on our sheet. <laughs> I'm just saying. That it's just real. They, they haven't accepted it. All right. Well, I'm uncomfortable. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You uncomfortable? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. You fucking, I don't care what the hoes are doing. Do you care about uh, LeBron and this reporter? I missed that one. Eh. Uh, How did you miss Fo- that? Where, you, where were you at, Parks? Bron put out something with KD uh, talking about being a with celebrity. Carrie Champion. Do not forget my, to my shout apologies. out Carrie Champion, who we love, friend of the my show. Apologies. Hi, Carrie. Uh, that was talking about even though he is a big celebrity and has a lot of money, he's still black at the end of the day because they spray painted racial slurs okay, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then this Fox News lady yeah, yeah, yeah. went on this whole rant at the end and said, "Why don't you just shut up and dribble?" Uh, and Fox foxed. Yeah, Fox <laughs> is foxing. Uh, yeah, fox there's nothing to really. Fox. Yeah. Nothing to really get into here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Fox Another is Fox. Another day, Channel 5. Yeah. yeah, I turned on first day, what was it, yesterday or something. They had six panelists with Stephen A talking. I was like, it's Fox. What do y'all want? Yo, Stephen A hates Molly. Mm. Is any does anyone notice this but me? They yeah. beef they beef every day. Yeah. Nobody's really getting into it. I, I, I've seen it a couple times. I'm waiting to see it, if it gets Steve, uncomfortable. Or I mean, I'm just waiting time. to see if Jalen's gonna step in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen's my guy. I'm just waiting to see what what comes. I love when Jalen's on with Steve and Molly. All right, whatever. I'm getting petty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he trying to stir up some shit. No, I'm just telling y'all what I pay attention to. I pay attention to nuance and shit. Uh, so we don't care about that. Um, y'all are too. I don't want to talk about the school shooting. Fucking it's Florida, know, man. That, yeah. It's Florida. They're still selling their R15s. <sighs> well, what do you want me to say? What I will say though is, Joiner Lucas tweeted that the solution to that is to have the teachers carry firearms. And <laughs> and I and I I, I, no, I see a, I see a few people beginning to say this. So let's stop this in its tracks. Word. That's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. <laughs> no, that's that's bad why, idea. I, to the same point when they're like, well, we should arm everyone so the good guys can have the... You know how long it takes to beat in special forces with automatic rifles? Like, we're just... All right, you're going to go get a teaching degree. No offense people that are teachers, but it's a four-year program. On top of that, we're going to train you how to use a pistol in a fucking shootout. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that does, that's not part that's of a college a program. Third, yeah. third period, I had Mr. Ford for social studies, and he could barely see me. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga was old with no. glasses and a wandering biggie eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Giving teachers a gun is not the solution. That's a terrible no. idea. And okay, idea. so you get as the racist t- as these teachers be half the time, and, as, and as upset as these teachers get, or like, you know, mental just, anguish that they are put through on a daily basis. And you get a teacher's a gun and give me my AR-15 and my money's on me. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's just more people. De- so now a teacher gonna be spraying off too in, right. in a Word, huge crowd. Like, people watch too many action movies, man. So uh, uh, prayers out to everyone, everyone who lost somebody and everyone who lost their life at, at that tragic, tragic event. Uh, speaking of movies, did you just say movies? You did say movies, right? I did not. I didn't. Uh, yeah, so you said something. Oh, I did action movies. Action movies. They don't even know what he said. Uh, fucking, uh, I have yet to see Black Panther. I would love to come in here and give everyone my Black Panther review. Rory, did you see it? No, I didn't have time. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Better not go see it neither, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Wait wait for that one to go on HBO. (laughs) Watch it in my home. (laughs) Yo, I'm I'm tired of that, man. I'm seeing a few of you, few, few white dudes posting the bloody white guy from Google. Saying your brother got beat up at Black Panther. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Nobody went to Black Panther to beat up a white person. That's just not true. Stop lying again. Yeah, uh, again. Uh, so I'm the only one here that hadn't seen it? No, nah, nah, I didn't I see it. I'll take us saw it. Oh, wait, what type? Except for Save On. What type of podcast do we do? <laughs> No, we'll, we'll be able to talk about it next week, though, because I'll, I'll definitely see it. Let's talk about week. it in like six weeks when, I'm going, well, <laughs> when it's over. Like well, we're no, doing I'm, I'm, I'm going to see it. Uh, I'm going to see it tomorrow. I, I tried to buy tickets last week, and tomorrow was the soonest I could get. Well, mm-hmm. uh, what happened to, uh, I think it was maybe, Savon, bring up when Joe was saying he was good, he didn't need to buy a ticket, he was going to walk right into the mm. theater because he was a celebrity, and they yeah, was going to escort true. him to the front row yeah, and did, give him popcorn. Yeah, he was getting all what that What happened with that, man? Uh, I didn't attempt to do that. Mm. Got you. What? Why do you want to sit in the front row anyway? Well, no, no, no I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where they would put me in the front row. No, Rory, I bought, uh, I bought, I bought tickets at. Uh, I could, probably could have got in sooner, but I bought tickets to one of the fancy schmancy. Ah, uh, the ones uh, with the yeah, full where course. you can order dinner yeah. and wine, oven and roasted turkey. So you bought a ticket for I pick trying to. <laughs> Yo, what's up with you, bro? I'm just saying. No, hey, I'm just saying. Somebody, but don't tell people. You made it seem like it's an exclusive deal. It is, but don't, so tell people where, but don't tell people where I'm going. I'm Jesus. not saying which I pick. But what you're going uh, to it ain't but one I pick in Jersey. <laughs> what, what time? What time are you going to I pick? <laughs> Shut up, Rory. Yeah, so I'm gonna go make it make it a whole experience. Uh, I see. Experience. A, I see a lot. Yeah, what's wrong it's with the that? movies, man? Oh, white people. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than a movie, Rory. It's a movement now. <laughs> yeah. These yeah. niggas, what did they what did they sell? What did they do? Like 249, 349 million, something two, ridiculous. Two, six, 269. Good, they great. broke all types of records. Yeah. Shout out to uh Shout out to Ryan Coogler, man. Yeah, shout out to Ryan Coogler, Michael B. Jordan, all parties involved. I see something about Michael B. Jordan and Ryan Coogler uh, in talks to have a new movie coming about uh, an African uh, emperor that was apparently the richest man ever. Mm-hmm. No. Have, y- have y'all seen that? I heard. I read something about it. Musa, Musa. Mm-hmm. They're doing Creed 2 now, too. Yeah, they should have did Creed 1. I mean, it was successful. <laughs> well, that's true. 
And this one might be even more successful with the storyline. So. Well, it will 100% be more successful. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, for sure. All right, well, I'm excited to go see Black Panther Yo. tomorrow. <laughs> and oh, what a night is tomorrow. Very busy Wednesday. Very busy Wednesday. If you don't have tickets, get a ticket. Get a ticket. Well, tonight. That's tonight. Uh, I mean, tonight. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> Whatever. Me for that, right? Yo, you got to look at the at the Wires cast and the alumni and what they've all done. Michael B. Jordan being one of them. Yeah. They did him dirty just, in the Wire. Oh, yeah. oh Joe, did like, you know that Jazz was a writer on This Is Us? Did you know that? Yo, I saw TMZ put something out. I did not know that. The Jazz is a writer on This Is Us. I did not and know that. And I hope it's not true because I'm going to be angry. I'm Why? I'm ninety nine percent sure she was one. Yeah. Why would you be angry? Well, I feel like she could have got me a scene. <laughs> a scene. Oh, you saying what? <laughs> I'll spot you. <laughs> a scene. You don't think I could? Be you could have. You had the same beard as the father. That yeah. More. You could have been. Well, More. they heard. They heard. More. They heard about That's your foul. daredevil. Uh, R- Randall. <laughs> I mean William. You could have been William. William. That's fine. You could have been William. No. I feel like I could be. I feel like Randall is still dying and, and uh, dying to adopt. I feel like he could adopt an old nigga like a 38 year old. Like, yo, what's good? Man, ain't nobody adopt <laughs> yo, what's good a 38 year old. Yo, 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 I rap. <laughs> yo, I rap. I rap. <laughs> yeah, and I podcast. Yeah, maybe, I got a text jazz. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm the industry right. heard about your Daredevil audition and that spread. Rory. Well, I, what's saying, up man, with y'all? Not, not everyone has a good audition they first, though. Maul came to my house over the weekend and put my Vibe Award on his Insta Live. Because <laughs> you had it on and the then, table. Then, no, I told you it switches rooms. I didn't have it on the table. Yes, you, who put that there? Ice put it there. <laughs> oh, because I know the day before that was not there. Ice came over and said, where's the V? <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. Don't encourage, don't, v? Don't encourage it. <laughs> the V is one of the, it's part of the crew now. We just got to accept that it. That shit definitely got to be in all the pictures yeah, from now yeah. on. Bring now that on. shit next week. All right. Place some, that shit right I'll here. Fuck both of you. <laughs> Somehow we've gone 45 minutes without discussing Hell Row. Oh my God! Well, Maul was there, so he could probably. Get <laughs> I, 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 I was right in Joe's house when all of that took place. You wasn't yeah, at the table but, next but to him. You're no. our our hood insider, so it's immediately it was Im- immediately when I saw Hell Rail getting dressed by the dressing <laughs> at a restaurant where you get sesame chicken and pancakes. Oh man! I immediately turned to Maul and I say, Maul, what's happening uptown? <laughs> Listen, man. I, this is uh, obviously this is some ongoing shit. You know, I don't. I don't know. Rel, 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 he responded. He said he's Gucci, and in his no, flip flops. No, he said he was Gucci no, in his Gucci. No, flip-flops. no, no. <laughs> That's what he said. No, 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 I'm no. I, it, no, I, no. I'm just telling you, Gucci. I don't yeah. give a fuck. I'm telling what you. What Ruga I knew. Said. I knew you was. I Ruga knew, Ruga said he's good. I knew you was going to come here and tell me what Ruga said. I saw what he, he put said. It, oh, okay, I, don't call I, him I thought you thought I was today. making it up. No, I saw it. Okay. So now I want to, before I even get into the video, I want to get into the response. Mm-hmm. Why are people, why do people do that? He it's got, the new he, era, He man. got on and he started talking to his phone and he starts telling me that he has on Gucci slides and all his jewelry is real. Mm-hmm. Those weren't even the two <laughs> questions <laughs> I had prepared, in, Hell Rel. In Hell Rel's defense, I he's had, been doing that on DVDs had, for 15 years. I had mad <laughs> other questions for Hell Rel. Like what? Right. Well, would you like me to get to my first one and the most important at all? I would. Why is he in that restaurant with his family? <laughs> yo, yo, grandma, I got the perfect spot for Sunday. Yo, hey, everybody, I mean, y'all gonna think, y'all, gonna, y'all gonna think I'm playing around with you. Why is he at Shrimp La Grill Buffet on one and nine? Shrimp La Grill. Honestly, with his whole family. That's how you know something was wrong, because I looked at the video about 90 times to see who else was there. Wasn't nobody else but Bob over there in the corner. <laughs> But, I yeah, mean, that, he's there, that he's there all day. Bob was big as hell, had the corner booth. You could tell he a regular. <laughs> that nigga looked to the right. You could tell that's a normal occurrence yeah. at oh, shrimp. They, they shrimp fight Bob again. didn't even run. Yeah, Bob got up and just <laughs> politely said, glanced. I paid $8.99 a pound hey, for this. He said, I was done anyway. Just pay the check. I'll go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> no? So that is, since you want to know, that's my most important question. Why is Hell Rail eating here? Maybe the food's know, good. Man. Dog. We gotta find. Sure, you don't know what the pot roast like. Over All there. right, so even if the food is good, because what if that was like like a cracker barrel? We can't shit on cracker barrel. Yeah, I hate cracker barrel. 
Yeah, I but you like say. Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Waffle, Waffle House is trash. Waffle House is Waffle trash. House. I mean, it's breakfast. Breakfast Listen, Waffle really House trash. is trash. It's not trash. You're just not supposed to eat it sober. You're not supposed to eat it, period. Nigga, that shit is trash. I mean, that shit it's not like, good, but you can't really fuck up eggs and pancakes. Well, don't do that. Yeah. Waffle don't House is that. trash. They grits is good. That's how you know they're not trash. No, that shit is trash. I think you letting the, the optic fool you because <clears> no, all the Waffle House trash. workers look like they just came home. The food is trash, bro. They did. I love Waffle You'll House. You'll find a nice hood joint over there, though. The waitresses? Forget I don't the people f- cooking. Look at Rory. <laughs> <laughs> look at Rory trying to find at the Waffle hey, House. Hey, you know what's funny? Now I know more trash because it's a few nice Waffle Houses, like white people Waffle Houses. <laughs> I'm talking about the food. Like that, that one, if you trash. go straight down 95, that first one that's in that obscure part oh, of Baltimore, you that's where you're going to hit. The one in Maryland. The first one you see on 95. That's nice. You know that's a nice one. See, Rory, that, I know I fuck with Rory for a reason, man. <laughs> That's a nice one. Because you're Waffle House bound. Yeah, but what were we talking about more before you Hell, fucking I said, said the I would say we shit. gotta find out what restaurant Rel was in because it might he be. He was practical. in Shrimp La Cafe Buffet. Mm-hmm. All you could fucking eat. He, 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 the only niggas there. So, I've analyzed this video a lot. He, he was at the place where it'd be Spanish people working, but they serving let's, Chinese food. Let's spend some time. <laughs> <laughs> you know the spots. Wait. <laughs> Uh, where it be Spanish people working but they serving Chinese food that's shit. you know it's like Flo de Mayo <laughs> yeah we just went there last week what are you talking about Flo, that's Flo de Mayo whole pitch hey, that was Flo de hey, Mayo on the video it's honestly. Spanish niggas serving Chinese <laughs> <laughs> and nutcrackers uh, I watched that video about nine, 900 million times and I'm not gonna clown Hell Rail too much because those was men that was pounding on him very different from that little bee jumping that I watched these was grown ass niggas in there mm-hmm uh, that's one. What I will say is, I mean, you're just supposed to, I don't know how to quantify this. Really. If you're from a certain area of town, I assume that you have the uncanny ability to look at people and know whether their intentions are good or bad. <laughs> Was it his back to the door? No. No. He was, facing. He, was fa- he did the right thing. He was and facing I, the door. I don't think those guys gently opened that door. I think they aggressively ended they had <laughs> they had on all black they were filming it was five of them they said there he is <laughs> they had masks on they said it's going down everything they could have done to let hell rail know drama was coming they did and he was still seated i don't understand it i'm, I'm a little confused by that sometimes part you call but that's fine sometimes they they catch you over your steamed broccoli yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think them. I think they were surprised they caught him at Shrimpler Grill. <laughs> I, feel bad I think the they was like, "Oh shit!" Have you ever spilt rice before? You know how hard that is to clean up. It's worse. <laughs> you can't vacuum it. It's <laughs> wet. That shit like, is horrible. That shit is terrible. I I can't terrible. It. When I saw that shit. So they walk up on him. They didn't even power walk. <laughs> it was a stroll. They didn't even went like a speed walk. They still looked cool. They got up <laughs> close to him, had a little conversation, and then a lot of punches happened. <laughs> He ducked a few. Of, I he thought he not. actually handled himself in that first immediate punch pretty well. He kind of dipped with it, but fell, yeah. and then just hit the floor running. Which sometimes Here, you gotta run. You gotta run. Sometimes but, but, you sometimes you do have to run. I'm but not your, running. But your grandmother is. I don't you. have very much breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm. Let me say a few things. I'm. <sighs> let me say a few things. <laughs> You've been saying a few things. Proceed. I don't know what to say, Maul. <clears throat> I'm pulling a I'm putting a bullet in your head if you try that around my family. Yeah, that was the one thing that I was saying was it was crazy. It was that it and, like he was with his on family. A Sunday. And you yeah. know what? Let me recant. I wouldn't need to do that. My family is is fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but he was with women though. It was it was My like, mom oh. is fighting. Yeah, my no, mom will stab one no, of these rapper niggas. I don't, want my, I don't want my mom fighting no rapper niggas. I'm not talking about what I want to happen. I'm telling you, that's mother love. Yeah, nah. Yeah. But even in I that situation, got, like, nah. What do you think? Mom, my, my, my mom ain't the mom that's going to call the cops. Let me just say that. <laughs> some yeah, black, no, some, some want, black parents. I, got, I, yeah, but I still don't, I still don't want <laughs> the combo down. Yeah, but I still don't want my mom swinging on one of them dudes. Because then now, No, don't they, swing. But if she, you go to the kitchen. Go to the back of the kitchen and get a knife, nigga. You listen, Ma, if you're, if go you're, to the back of the kitchen. If you getting stomped out and you happen to take a gander up, a gander, in a and, fight. and see a nigga punching your mom's in the face, <laughs> <laughs> see a nigga punching your mom in the face is crazy. 
That's crazy. And like, all you have is, you is going, plastic forks because you have that spot. Lie. That's like that's like turning into the Hulk. Because if if I'm getting stomped out and I look up and see my mom's getting punched in the face by one of these niggas, I'm killing everybody. Like everybody's dying. I'm getting strength from somewhere, and everybody that's in this area that's causing if, harm is gonna die. If I see that happening, the fight is ongoing. <laughs> yeah, that's now what when you leave, we leave. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fight. We're continuing this fight that's why I at your my next mom getting destination. In that. I don't want my mom getting in that. My mom is definitely stabbed. <clears throat> nah, I, I, but I'll, so I'll let's that. address some other things. Public service announcement to anybody out there. If you're ever in that type of unfortunate predicament, you're faster on two legs. He was off balance, though. Fam, the nigga was... On on all fours, <laughs> yeah, that's true. which is fine. It could have been a which slippery is fine. floor. No, that's yeah, fine. Mopped. Yeah, they, someone else probably. Those the type of restaurants no, always I'm have wet floors. Mad. I'm not mad at him being. Oh, shut up. Right? <laughs> I'm, so I'm not. I'm not. But I'm not mad at him being on all fours. I'm Pulse. mad at him for attempting to travel long distance <laughs> on all fours. If you watch the video, he tried to go from the back of the salad bar to like the door <laughs> on all four. You got to get up, man. I mean, if you I ever, don't know, I don't know how he would football. It's just a, it's I, the crab I, I, walk. I was surprised that he sat down the whole time. Like when they was walking up, like you had a disadvantage already letting them walk up on you while you sitting down with your family. You got to see Yo, them coming in there. And all stand it takes like, is one time for somebody to catch you while you are seated for you to know, to never let that happen again. <laughs> yeah. I'll just put it, I'll put it that way. Yeah, for sure. Maybe this is his one time. I thought Hell Rail was ugly enough to know how to fight. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm be honest. I'm gonna be, and Hell Rail's my guy. But Wait, what? I'm sure this is not the first time that he's heard that he's ugly. <clears throat> Hell Rail ain't cute. You, you know, you just assume how an ugly nigga got hands. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the event if you were a woman and thotting, it wouldn't be with Hell Rail. Well, how much money does Hell Rail have? <laughs> All his jewelry's oh real. God, that's nasty. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, Rory. All right, I was just asking. Hell, bro. I'm not. <laughs> just need the call back. No, that DM's just going to say red. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to unsend that one himself to feel better. <laughs> Y'all are fucking crazy, man. <laughs> so no, nobody else thought Hell, bro, was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so off of Hell, bro, for a little bit, because watching that clip, I wanted to come in here and ask y'all about the worst fight that y'all lost. Or either the worst time somebody caught y'all slipping. I already told Maul my story on on Saturday. I said, you know the fight is you know the fight is not going in your favor when you just start staying stop. <laughs> <laughs> yo, chill, yo, chill, right, yo. chill, chill, chill. Yo, and then you know the fight really ain't going in your favor when he stops. <laughs> like yeah, like, like yeah, uh, all right. right, chill. Well, this is gonna be a homicide charge <laughs> <laughs> if I keep going. <laughs> Y'all look crazy, man. Oh, so y'all don't want to tell me about it? Uh, I'm the only one? Yeah? <laughs> no, I'm just I've laughing. Never, everybody's I've lost I've never a lost fight. a fight in my life. Oh, come on. Now, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> yeah, everybody's lost a fight. Everybody's I got caught with the cool, uh, you face to face, and then they'd be like, nah, they do the turnaround, but they uh, mad fast, and they come back around. Yeah. I got caught pretty bad. I definitely hit the canvas. Damn. I.E. the street. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Nigga rocks your shit, Oh, huh? OD, OD rock my shit. Damn. Thank God I never hit the canvas. You come on, you never been knocked down in a fight. Uh, knocked down, but that's on a tussle. I've never been hit and knocked, fall yeah. to the ground. In hood fights, you gonna get to the tussle rather quickly. And then I, <laughs> and then I did the because I didn't get like knocked out out, but I did the get up real quick and think you about to fight, but you still have don't have your bearings. <laughs> so you're like, what's yeah. up? What's up, man? Yeah, what's no. up? <laughs> that's an L. Oh, it's the, a, it's the, definitely the, an L. Hey, hey, the new kids. Were, it was definitely an L. They were called an L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were called. I, had, I wouldn't get L. clout for that one. No, no, no clout. <laughs> Not at all. The kids love the clout. Um, do y'all care about Takashi versus everybody? Listen, wherever Takashi was in LA this weekend, I was not staying away from that madness. I mean, I will, I will say this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Same he, Z's. He, I'm he, cool. He, he's, he's, a, he's a brave kid, though. I will say that. Tell us more. Well, I mean, he said he was going to LA. He went. I mean, he was, End you know. Story. <laughs> I, I mean, he was walking around. I mean, I, I don't know if, you know, these guys wanted him to actually pull up in their neighborhood. Why would he do that? Like, he's not going to pull up in these neighborhoods that y'all want him to. He's going there to handle his business wherever he has to be to get his money and leave. That's what he's going to do. Right. But, I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, that whole situation to me is just a little, 
It's just weird. Was like, he a nah. Duce Palooza? <laughs> no. No, he was not. Was I, he on the to list? To my knowledge. Yeah, I put him down plus 20. No, nah, you had to put plus 80. <laughs> That's why he ain't show up. Well, my my thing is this. I don't I don't really want to speak too much on him and his situation because I'm unaware of it. <clears throat> uh, but Maul and I did have a rather interesting conversation about checking in and how we feel about it. So I want to ask Rory and Parks how y'all feel about quote unquote checking in. A big part of this Takashi thing was him saying, uh, listen, I respect the soil that, that every gangster walks on all over the world, but I myself, I'm never checking in with anybody to go anywhere. Is that offensive? I'll put it in or, in a non street way. You ever go to a house party where you were not invited, but you came with somebody and you would like to know whose house it was to say, hey, I'm in your house. Just what's up? Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I usually do that. That's that's the polite thing to do. It's true. So I think this is the street version and you should move that way. OK, so I will respond to that the way Maul responded to me when I said that. But is it is it a check? Is it is it to say that you are soft? If I say that you, I demand that you come check in when you hit my city. It, am I insulting you? Well, is it prior beef, or is it? Are you just no, telling me? I'm just telling you. Yes, well, Maul? A, to, a tone. People are human, yeah, huh. so if you say it in a certain tone, well, you got to remember too. Take it. You got to remember too. A lot of this is because of the gang affiliation thing. I don't. I don't think if if Takashi wasn't gang affiliated, or if it, you know what I mean, I don't think this would be. Uh, situation where he would have to check in. I don't really know, you know, the whole how that should go, but I think because he is gang affiliated, I think that they're saying like, well, when you come here, you know, these are the things that you need to do. But here's my outside looking in shit on that, and I don't know who's real and who's not. But everyone's a gang member now, so I'm why not. is it just specific to? I'm not a gang member. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't understand why it was specific to him. I didn't understand that. Yeah, I, but I mean, I again, like, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of you know behind the scenes shit that I'm not aware yeah, of. I don't know about. That, yeah, I don't yeah. know. But just from looking from the outside, I, I just I don't understand it. But I'm I mean, no longer asking y'all about him. I'm, I just want to know y'all the thoughts whole, on checking you should, in. You should. No, well, now I if think you're gang affiliated, I, I understand that. That well, I do understand. The videos online change the phone call because everyone everyone has been in a, a situation where maybe if social media was gauging it, y'all got on the phone and everything kind of changed when y'all had that conversation. Yeah. When you just have videos going back and forth with terrible tones and a bunch of your friends behind you with guns i may not be inclined to be like hey bro i'm, right. I'm headed to your city right so <laughs> so i think the phone calls people are much different on the phone not even on like they become pussy on the phone people are just different when they are talking directly to you on the phone mm. so with this video shit that's why these kids are, are all fucking ununified Everyone's just doing videos back and forth, and academics is posting it. All right, I'm gonna send this. Like academics is the middleman to real shit, and it's terrifying. <laughs> it's like it's terrifying. Let me tell you something, man. I brought Ack over to squeeze on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw those awkward ass videos. And I, I DM ah. Joe. I said, "You putting in that overtime to get Trey that placement?" <laughs> Oh my god, my my poor baby is dissing me. I forgot all he about that. He killed you too. Relax, relax. He did kill you. He Re your everyone flow. simmer down. Yo, Ack at the strip club is pretty funny, man. He was out there just hopping around like it wasn't killers around. I said, fam, relax, man, before you get a shot out here. <laughs> my, uh, my likes will block the bullets. Yeah, like yeah, like re relax a little bit. Uh what I will say is this when you play the game that it seems this gentleman is playing, and I agree with Maul that uh, up to this point, he does appear rather brave. But the second that someone is braver, the consequences are grave. No right. pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, if you're playing the game, you got to play by the rules of the game. I so, think. The, yeah. Well, is so, the rules anymore? So the, that's a good there, question. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's valid. So then my question to you gentlemen becomes, for all of the attention and, and notoriety that he gains from this, because I was glued to where he was. <laughs> I was home, and I was like, let me wait and see what Takashi's yeah, I was Yeah, I was looking, too, like, all right, Takashi is in West Hollywood. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go to yeah. the other side. Of let's go let me, downtown. Let me check, see if they get him by 10. <laughs> That's, but, uh, but for all of that, I guess my question becomes, is it worth it? Uh, and what I mean is, you know, you have to lose money. You have to lose money. He He's on tour. He's had tour dates canceled for all of this drama. And I don't know the bag that he's receiving, but as a newer artist, 
you need to move around. Yeah, I mean, you kill... Uh, and I know to travel the way that he is traveling is cost. Saying, yeah, cause that's a yeah, cost. Even just to have people with you, you yeah, got to cost Yeah, that, that's, that's expensive. So, and so, a venue booking you has to triple its security, which is not Which cheap. is more expensive. Right. And that comes out of your shit. Right. And my thing with festivals kind of really being the way artists are moving now and where the actual money is, people from all walks of life go to festivals. They're going to skip over on Takashi. Maybe a hood venue might book him because that's, you know, the area likes that. Right. They're skipping right over Takashi. We're not letting all this energy into some drug festival. Right. And that's, he's, he's losing money there. I know. I just can't figure out if he cares yet because he may be getting a lot of money from so many other places. Well, money to him. Because that, that's what it usually... I mean, when you start out as a starving artist and then you do get that first bag, it feels like, like dog, a million dollars. There's, this is the most money you could ever have. Until you realize... And then like you realize, wait, these yours. people are getting booked two million per 15 minutes at these festivals. All, right. <laughs> All it took for me was to actually see how much money I was spending on people that weren't me. <laughs> to say... Right. Oh, okay. Once let's you, slow this one down yeah, a bit. Once, once you realize that million dollars, you're getting third of it if you're lucky i mean yeah. it's expensive and then, and then, it's just expensive uncle sam call That's and even if it, and even <laughs> if it's not expensive you start showing up to doors but i'm talking about last decade i don't know what's going on now because i'm trash but last decade you start showing up the doors with 10 and 20 niggas you ain't really getting in nowhere nowhere <laughs> yeah word i wasn't as hot as he is though <laughs> 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 let me let me throw that out there that little nigga might be getting in but uh nah i would say when pump it up came out to what his single is now nope you don't think so? Nope. I think so. No, it's a, I, I, yeah, I think so. Y'all, y'all, are, y'all, universal. y'all, are, y'all are correct, but because it's a different time okay. and there are so many more consumers in hip hop, even if we were the same amount of hot, benefits him today. I see what there's you're much saying. more money in hip hop. There's much more consumers. There's much more avenues. Much more outlets. It's much more everything today. Mm. So it benefits you to be cracking. Today, well, you got to adjust for inflation, though. So I think it's pretty similar. I bet y'all are pretty evenly tiered. No, I don't give a fuck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so Joe Taka- had the same color hair. So Takashi was moving around. No, but uh, I dyed my hair when I was fifteen or so. It was blonde. <laughs> you got pictures? <laughs> no, Dill Dil had a picture until I stole it, I never, I never to be once. seen again. Yeah, I was mad bored at sixteen. Um. So Takashi was moving around. Cardi was moving around. She looked she looked great. Uh, did anybody see her moving around? And I only mentioned I saw her, her at the club. She uh, that's the only. I, I only mentioned her because there, there was that whole gang gang rumor yeah. about her as well. Yeah, that's so, I mean, I only seen one video of her at the club, and she had about forty security guards surrounding her. So looked like she was moving. All right. <clears throat> well, smart. Yeah. She was moving smart. Okay, no, so she's now not, she's not doing that bullshit in L.A. <laughs> Well, let's let's take a hard turn here. Uh, Cardi's dear friend Star Brim mm-hmm. released a video containing Black China. Man, this is funny. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm prepared for how funny this is. I watched the timeline go from Black Panther to a different <laughs> Panther. <laughs> <laughs> From Black Panther, Black, Black China. China. It was a whole they different. Went, <laughs> it was a whole I different seen it, vibe. So what's the name of the place? Wakanda. They went from Wakanda to China. I don't understand <laughs> how anybody fucking uh, is complaining about Black Panther spoilers. I've never. I don't know any other word that is Wakanda. As soon as I see a nigga say Wakanda, I'm finished reading the tweet. I don't know what's going on. You're not spoiling anything for me now. Or, or what's the other one? Killmonger. I don't know a kill a word that's Killmonger. You're not spoiling things. If you say Killmonger, I know you're talking about something I haven't seen yet. I'm leaving. All right. So, uh, can y'all tell me about the worst head you've ever received? <laughs> Rory and I might not be allowed to partake in this, but more you can, right? Of course. Grade that head. That not not the bad head you received, but 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 Black China's head. Uh, what's the scale? Like one to what ten? One to two. China to ten. I mean, you're not going to get past two. Yeah, no, that... I, <laughs> that that video's not going to be a minute 30. You know what's funny, though? I, I, everything. I don't, I don't, I don't every, know. Every, everything is funny. Why is it that every time a celebrity sex tape comes out or pseudo-celebrity sex tape comes out, why are we always 
so amazed when it's trash. Right. Like, do we think because it's a, like a celebrity or pseudo celebrity, it's supposed to be like be the fucking... most amazing sex we've ever seen? Because, I mean, all of these sex tapes that come out to me are like trash. Right. But it's like I expect it to be trash. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think that I would expect it to be like an amazing sex scene. They're not really producing them. But not even that it's producing. It's just the, the sex looks like it's just not good sex. You know what I'm saying? It's like no disrespect to Wiz or Twenty One, but we all would feel a way if an Amber Rose tape came out and it was trash. Yeah, I would probably feel yeah, away. You fucking right. You would yeah. feel away. Uh, that that would be one where I would be like. Damn, but I'm I with you. I never, I, I never looked at Black China and said, "Hmm." But <laughs> well, a, lot, my, my, a lot of these, my shit wondering is how that head is. Because yeah. when we judge rappers, Joe, we, I'm adding you into this, even though you don't do it. When they all share like the same three chicks, hmm. I used to do it. I kind of <laughs> in my head, I'm like, all right, well, she has to have fire because they pick these three chicks and they're all friends and they're all dating them nah, publicly. Niggas they are just gotta groupies. have fire. No, nah, niggas are just groupies for groupies. That's all. That's I don't never, I don't never look at it and be like, oh, it's fire because these three, three, these these three dudes had a like. I never look at it like that. Like nah. I'm thinking, you have a good amount of pussy available to you as a rapper, and the five, these five chicks are all being passed around and being publicly dated. They have to have the craziest head ever, in my brain. If if, nah, that was, if I was put nah. in a position like that, it's just the dudes nah. just want to be with the girl that has made a name for herself. That's all it is. I never, I never take that to say, oh, because she's been with so many dudes, like her shit has to be incredible. No, I just take it as these dudes want to be with her because she was with a dude who's more popular than he is. So now he feels like if he has a woman in common with this. Scary, dude has more clout than him. Worlds. He feels like he's on the same level as this other dude. I don't care about what you're saying. Rape Black China's head. <laughs> I told you it was terrible. I know, but you didn't give me a, a, a number to put next to terrible. So one, one, one to five. One five to ten. Being, I do one to ten. One to ten. Ten being best. Uh, four. Tell me why. I mean, what, what was wrong? What was wrong? Let's 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 dig in here. Pause. Well, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I. I mean, it just wasn't. It didn't. It, it, it I'm looked, thinking. I'm thinking. If it was me, I would like be she pleased. Just, by it, it was sleepy, sleepy head it for real. Look like that. <laughs> look like she just woke up. That doesn't look like a. She wasn't even in prime blowjob <laughs> position. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was straddling her like neck. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a. That was like that's like the a, first. That was like a. I'm putting my cock in. Yo, your you, face. Know, yo, you know what's funny situation. about that? Time out. Let's talk. Let's talk about that position for a minute. How do I, niggas I've get? Caught, how I've do niggas get in that position? How do niggas get in that position? Like, what Maul, position? tell me. If you're on the bed, like, and you just, you know, I me mean, by her face, you, just, you ask I don't niggas know. straddling. No, see, no, 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 you lose me. No, you losing me. I don't know how a nigga gets there. On the bed with your cock in her I'm, face? <laughs> you don't know how to get in that position? No. I've been in that position by accident reaching for the remote. Like, <laughs> what you mean? That's, that's like, you've never reached for the remote and like, you're like, oh, hold up, my bad. And then, get that? Like, then that's you ended position. up in the Boston Crab around this chick? Like, no, I mean, he was, he straddled her. He looked like he was, you know, just humping he was her face. Some pervert shit. Yeah, he was trying to get his shit off. I mean, it just, it, the it nigga, just wasn't working. He had his knees on her shoulders. Is what I'm saying, how do you get your you knees get on a girl's sh- shoulders? You're not going to get good results. He was about like to that. sit on her face. You're not going to get good yeah. results. <laughs> I've sat on faces, I've done that. Absolutely. Me too, but it, it was a plan. <laughs> it was well thought out. No, what I'm then, saying then he is, politely asked her to get to the edge of the bed, and so he could get his shit off again. It's polite. Yeah. It polite. Oh, you well, got no, you got no, that second, far. <laughs> Wait, yeah. the second one. Hey, you was watched like a the whole thing. Around. You are a fucking loser. No, I, I had to see what it was about. I had to see. I cut. Well, that I just shit watched off the whole thing. Immediate. Yeah, you have to. It's like you have to. See no, it. no, you don't. It's a minute long. He, it, that's yeah. what I'm saying It wasn't even like a long clip yeah, He put her over the side of the bed To get the face fuck in Which yeah. didn't go as planned either yeah. But I mean That's really Man, the part past 20 seconds I was cool Once I heard the ad lib track <laughs> You heard it And yes. I put, put all of it inside now <laughs> No 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 more like, What the yeah. fuck are you talking about He was trying to coach her through Shut it Shut up <laughs> Listen, Shut you gotta, up! You got to talk out there on so, the court. Well, I'm glad you said that you because then I wanted to come in here and ask y'all because I know I'm a weirdo. I want to check my own thinking sometimes. <laughs> you know, with my network of friends, mm-hmm. what, y'all be talking. Y'all like y'all be talking. I talk, talk but not, not, I'm not. Like, during Ed, like y'all yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Well, all right, that's fine. That's that's not the. But but what you what you what you saying? It depends on what's going on. If it's not, you know, she's sucking your dick. What do you mean? What's going on? No, but I'm just saying. How, it, what is she doing? Clearly, it's not wet enough. Y'all need. Yeah, you need some more. sauce. Oh, you're instructing. Yeah. You need some more sauce. Yeah, put some more sauce. <laughs> 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 <la
some more sauce. Put some more sauce on that. Yeah, man. Mo, I mean, you are not saying to a chick during head, yo, give me more sauce, sauce. please. Absolutely. I've said that before. <laughs> You're not talking to I've, chicks like they the McDonald's drive through I've absolutely I said, just ref- no, you didn't. I've absolutely no, you said didn't. put some more mouth sauce on that. Let, let me get absolutely some extra honey that. mustard. I've 1,000% said that before. You, you've never said that? No. no. So what do you, so what do you say? What do you say? Make it more wet? <laughs> sauce. Oh, y'all gotta step your balls up. Spit, spit on my shit would be well before put some more sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, I mean, I've done that too, but that's like 2009. Like, we gotta step it up. Like, put some more sauce on that. Talk to me. What does she say? She proceeds to put more sauce on it. <laughs> then you got you with the McDonald's. Yeah, I was gonna then, say. Then you got if, if, if she needs something to drink, then you got you know what I mean? Drink some. Yeah, drink some. Get that mouth. Get the mouth. You know, we get twenty five cent extra for another yeah, barbecue. Get the mouth wet here. Drink. So something. tell me, tell me about some of the other instructions here that you might say. I'm not giving y'all all my shit. Come on, man. Y'all, 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 y'all trying to steal my shit, man. Like, nah, man. But I'm definitely... That, 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 <laughs> you think I'm going to go back and be like, yo, yo, yo Ma told me this one. Hey, Ma. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all trying to steal my shit, hey, man. The chick I'm courting is not the, hey, I need extra sauce. <laughs> Listen, man. It works. You got you to go with what works. It works. They okay. understand. Okay, so... But this... You know why I'm mad at this whole sex tape shit? We don't never get an update from any Lisa Bloom case anyway. <laughs> so it's like I be I, I watch the press conference and I be hype. You should not ever take advantage of a woman and record her. You ruining her rights. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's fucking right. And then it goes away. And then like, oh. but, but I mean, she <laughs> got to grab that. She knew she was check. being recorded though. That wasn't like it wasn't like a camera hitting in the hamper or nothing like that. It was like he was holding. All his right, phone. all right. So this is my question. Homeboy was recording. Actually, you know what? Let me not get to that question yet. I, I, I have a, so everyone watched the video and this was an uproar online. It took the attention away from Black Panther, right? And. Well, you think it's a conspiracy? <laughs> no, but. Like Fox News leaked it? But here, there's someone here who did think it was a conspiracy and I'm just going to read you what, what Michi has to say about things. If you're unfamiliar with Michi, he is the young man who, who has been dating China and has been seen with China most recently. Oh. He is the man allegedly in the clip. Oh. Oh. Michi says, and I quote, first off, I really been chilling. <laughs> <laughs> first off, I really been chilling. I don't trust nobody that says they just been chilling. <laughs> I don't trust first off. <laughs> yeah, or first off. All right, first off, I really been chilling. Working on my career. When the last incident happened, I kept quiet and I stayed low key. But this, <laughs> this is now beneath me. I cannot believe anybody would stoop this low. I stay in my lane. I don't do the drama. I focus on my family, career, just about to release my project, and now I've got to deal with my dick being plastered all over the world. You've got to be kidding me. Who's that? Here. You've got to be Let kidding me. Let me show me. it to you. End quote. Oh, That's this, Michi. Oh, this is Michi. I have a few quest- questions for Michi. Wait, this is Michi? This picture right here? What picture are you looking at? That is him. That is the alleged, alleged Michi. And that same gentleman said that he can dunk on me in sandals. So he said that to you. Uh, yeah. So wait, when did this conversation this. happen? No, this when had a conversation when, with Michi so in the studio when he was so crazy. Crazy. Where was you and Michi at? When he was writing for Black China. That well, I was though Parks. That I was gonna let it go first. I wanted to ask how this affected Joe when, and China's rollout. When oh Joe Berg and China? Yeah. Joe Berg and China's a Well, when I was meeting up with Berg to talk about Joe Berg and China, uh, our law firm. Um Well this is the rollout. Black China was there and Michi was there. And that's when Michi said I would dunk on you in sandals and I looked at his little five foot four ass and laughed him out of the studio and said, You have me fucked up. I will clothesline you to the ground before that ever occurs. <laughs> I don't know what you L.A. short niggas. I get it. I get it. I've been in, in that gym before with a guy you don't know could jump high. <laughs> I get it. So that's what Michi says. Michi, who the fuck knew that this was you? And who gives a fuck that this was you? 
Why are you making a fucking announcement telling us that this is you? That is my question. L.A. niggas do something. Did, did Not China... L.A. niggas. I take that back, Whack 100. Fucking <laughs> just some niggas do some funny shit. What is did, Meech did talking China about? Ghost write that because that be the IG honey shit. I've, I'm, all I do is focus on my family. I'm never in the drama. Meech, Meanwhile, come on. they're always in the drama. Meech. Oh, yeah, he, that was unnecessary. That was what's he, he that doing? I mean, now, listen, man, he wanted his credit. So what it did for Ray J. <laughs> what it do for Ray J? Shit. That sex tape helped Ray J. How? It did. Ray J did a lot of shit after that sex tape as a result of that sex tape. Well, shit, because he sold it, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he made some bread. It did. It what did Ray J do as a result of the sex tape? Am I missing something? I think he was kept- musically his career was bigger. I think before, no, right? he was still um, putting out songs with K. Slay. I mean, <laughs> it was nah, still I he like was them still songs, attached. But that's to what was the, happening. He was still attached to one of the biggest yeah. things ever. Yeah, that was a one of the biggest yeah. sex tapes just ever. Being attached to it. Did he get the show after that? I don't know. With Ray J, I think I that was. So. I think that was after. Yeah, I believe so. Well, I guess probably because this this dude's face wasn't in, wasn't in this sex tape. <laughs> he, he was tight. Yeah, so he had. To, that's kind of like with NFL players. They always got to let you know they play play football when they're in the club because they always have yeah. a helmet on. You don't know what they look like. <laughs> True. It's kind of like the same thing. So you think he was mad that he didn't do the camera back to his face yeah. in the video? Yeah. He recorded. They recorded that shit like that was some, like that was some exclusive shit they was giving us. <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely an outtake. That's, that's when, yeah. That's it, my yeah. That's when you delete. Yeah, yeah, that's not even in the yeah, phone anymore. Yeah, you know, that's deleted. Because that you're not getting man. off to that on your own. Yo, after you nut and your head Hell is clear, no. I'm not using that for yeah. my own purpose. Nah, personal never. Purposes after you later. nut, and your head is clear. You go back and look at the video. Like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm deleting this. this. Yeah, this what was bad. I thinking? Yeah, you ain't even supposed to post the one that's not you going ham. <laughs> Right. That's one. And number two, I would love to know how the how this video got out of their phones. <laughs> right. right. Uh, they sent, they sent They're it sending to this video to somebody, right? <laughs> they, they sent we it. know how it got out the phone. We know that. We know it was sent in an email. We know that. Nah, if I email somebody my sex tape, I got to show out. I mean, at yeah. least, you know what I mean? Like, a, a little bit. That shit was like... But what are they gearing up for? Meech says he has a project coming. Well, He'll be at a Duce Palooza somewhere. Of course he has a project. Um, He's hosting. Um, not, Black China <laughs> had music chilling. coming out, but I think that's slowed down. Bird doesn't send me anymore. Of those gonna, songs. because uh, she wants her royalties from you or something. Word, her gonna... and Ian are, are arguing back and forth. Nah, your ass cap about to be <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about Drake. Damn, how you get blackballed by Black China? Oh man, I would love to play that song right now. It gets me in such a good mood, but I don't. I don't have it. So I did notice with with do you have Drake's it? oh the video of course the song. Oh, play uh, the song. I have Apple Music. Gets me in a and good t- mood. Gets title. me in a good mood. And title. Look at him try to throw it in real quick. You heard that, Lenny? <laughs> title was on my home screen. Title was on my home screen. <laughs> Who asked Rory what was on his home screen? <laughs> that's all I, that's all I want to know. Uh, I haven't seen the video yet. Let me just tell y'all that. What, the Drake I think, video? No, yes. I think that's a lie because Drake was doing all this great charity work. And then I see you on IG story today going, surprise safari and paid for the meal. He had no idea. Like, I get you was trying to do the, the treatment <laughs> of the God's plan video. Every now and then you'd say something <laughs> funny and I'd be shocked a little bit. That was a good one. That was a good one. Feels good. It's good. To, all right, you know what? We're gonna spend some time on this one. Drake is easily one of the most important artists in hip hop history. <sighs> never, never mind. Let's hate on it. Let's just hate. Oh, hate. Yo, honestly, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Honestly. I was ready to give Drake his props, but if Maul is gonna give him props, then I'm a hate. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm a no. hate. I'm just being honest. I'm just with saying, you. like, you gotta, you gotta really just look at his career, man. Like, it's, let's let's look. Let's take a gander. Shit, a lot of a lot of people don't have. The Why are we that Drake gandering had, so much on this podcast? <laughs> Yo, more. Let me hear what more about to say. A lot of people. No, I'm what? just saying a lot of a lot of hip hop acts have n- not had the career that he's had, or the run that he's had. 
I don't know if anybody has had a run Drake has had. It must be fucking Captain Obvious Dave. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> the, I love when people are like, <laughs> everybody was hating on Drake and LeBron. Like, no, <laughs> dude, we weren't. Like, we knew they were going to be fucking. No, yeah. but no, but seriously, like, a lot of dudes don't, a lot of people really don't give that, him that credit, though. Like, if you could have this, the same hip hop talk with a lot of people, they're not going to give Drake that credit. No. They're not. That's not true. Okay. That's, right. that's not true. Okay. A lot of, you can't fight facts. And, uh, and you, people fight facts every day. <laughs> That's exactly what arguing and debating I mean, you're is. Right, though. People fight facts every single day. Every day. I think it goes, You fought facts. What facts do I fight? You fought facts about Drake before. No way. Oh my God. Tell me about it. No, no, no. Go ahead. Do we have sleepers? <laughs> <laughs> you never fought facts about Drake? Ever. I don't think so. Okay. So if I'm uh, if if I am no, just, wrong, you, you did. You you you've definitely when? fought facts. Tell me about when. Drake. You fought facts about Drake. You can't keep repeating yourself in the debate. You fought facts about Drake. What fact? One, more than one time. Can I have one example? Well, when you said, uh, you something recently that you said. No. And you was like, yeah, it was something recently that you said about one of his, his records or. The only was, record we even talked about from him recently was uh, Diplomatic Community. And I liked no, it. No, not that record. And, and all I said was, I don't, I don't think he was dissing me. He was. Well, yeah, that was a fact you fought. <laughs> there you go. I don't think he was. I don't. I don't. I personally do not think he was this. I mean, if he was, cool. But I, I don't take it that way. He all dissed you saying. on the the Black Boy shit too that just came out. I don't take that as a diss to me either. No, uh, he was he was proving to you that he dissed you on Diplomatic Community because he said, "I told you it was I cool, told but you I lied." It was cool, but I yeah. lied. I'm sure he said that to some other people outside. <laughs> he said that to party probably. Okay, but on this podcast, <laughs> it was all about you. He said that to party. This, this is this is my thing about about this Drake shit, right? This is an amazing video. This is a great video. I mean, it's, it's nothing to even say about. It. I have yet to see the video and I have yet to hear the complete song. It's great, but this is great. It was great. You can't even hate on it. He gave out a million dollars. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Did he pay the taxes or are those people going to have to pay the taxes? I wouldn't give a <laughs> fuck what he did or did not do. That's a joke. That was a, that, what a sentiment. I mean, a lot of it was cash, so. <laughs> but it's on camera. That's, that's true. Yeah, Parks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Parks is whistle. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I, this is what I think from Drake. And this is this is a little. I probably have nothing to back this. <laughs> I think this is the first time in a long time where I feel like him and his team are exhibiting real, true creativity since his superstardom. That's what I think. That has been one of my major beefs with him and his team and how things have looked, only how they've looked. Now he now. Ack had a conversation with 40 a few months ago. This is when I was still on Everyday Struggle. And 40 said to Ack that the next Drake project he can guarantee would be the one. It would sell the most, the single, it would get him to a million. Huh. Now, I don't know if I believed that when he said it. Oh, but the, when he said the, it, the I th world stops when he drops a verse. This next album, mm -hmm. he's going to sell the most. Well, well, slow down. Let's not jump right to that. The last, the last few years, the world has not stopped when Drake has dropped the verse. I don't think that's... Well, I think his I'll projects... Wait. It's slowed his, down. His projects, I'll wait. I'll his wait. projects have always sold more than the last one until More Life, but that wasn't even well, well, okay. quote-unquote a project. Don't get so. me to sounding like I'm hating. All his projects sell. I'm only talking about the impact in the last few years. I'm just saying that... The I, world has not stopped the way it once has when Drake released a joint. I was one of those same people, and I haven't bought or downloaded something in quite some time. I'm just saying that if the trend continues, there's nothing for me to believe that it would not sell more than everything else he's ever put out. Because everything else has That's sold more than... That's easy to say today and now. I'm just telling you about when they said it. That was before any of this God's plan, diplomatic community was quiet. It was a little quiet, and he said it then. And I said, hmm. With that being said, let me pay some attention to how they're gonna mm. how they're gonna so do he, this now. He also dissed you in the Black Boy shit when he said, "I've been going since July. You thought I died." I've never heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to it. It's I, good. I'm not listening to that song. Drake's verse is great on that. I'm sure it is. Good. Drake is dope. great. I'm not listening to Block Boy until I have a reason to listen to <laughs> Block Boy. I'm not just running to everything with a Drake feature. <laughs> Block Boy is not in my phone on the aux set. You hate it. Uh, maybe. 
Uh, what, what was I saying just now? All right, so Diplomatic Community comes out. It's cool. The boy is rapping. Now, this song comes the out, boy. and Rory says it sounded a little like uh, some A Boogie <laughs> shit. Wait, what? Oh, all right. You called him the... Never mind. The boy is rapping. <laughs> that was just funny, but go ahead. Why is that, what, why is that so funny? The, the boy is rapping? That's funny. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> it is funny. It just sounded funny. The boy is rapping. You know what's funny about y'all? It, it sounds funny, me saying the boy is rapping, but y'all will rap some lyrics from the nigga calling himself the boy, and I think that's weird. <laughs> I think I, that's really I, weird. No, when y'all be in the club, the boy, the boy got a... Weird. I think you calling him the boy is weird. That, yeah. Sir, he can call himself whatever he wants. Sir, you call him the uh, boy is crazy. The kid, I would follow the him boy, Instagram if the, his name wasn't I'm, Champagne I'm, Poppy. I'm, I'm from the generation where calling somebody a boy wasn't a big up. <laughs> Oh, so you didn't big him up just now? Ooh. I'm going to wait till y'all finish. <laughs> I'm just asking. You said you from the generation we're calling him the boy. Is not you not bigging him up? Do you think that me calling him the boy is bigging him up? Let me ask you that. Let me That'll tell me about your perception of things. Do you think me calling well, somebody the boy? that's why it was funny. That's I'm why asking, me and Rory laughed. I'm asking you if that's a big up. Call no, I don't, think it, I don't think it was. Okay. The young man. Is that is that better for you? <laughs> okay, yes. The young man He's was, a gentleman. I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Cause was <laughs> say he was joke. rapping on that. You were talking about, I, you were going to say it sounded like a boogie. What I think you were trying to say was I was saying that God's plan and he's been trying to catch that drum, uh, yes. Yachty broccoli flow yeah, for a go. while. And I think he really caught it with the God's plan one. That's where you were getting to. The thing I really like about the video that I haven't seen is. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga's crazy, man. That's why I'm not saying anything this whole time. I just want want to listen to him. Go ahead. Gotta play some happy music because Maul and Rory are making me angry. (laughs) Y'all are making me angry. I handle my anger differently than Rory did last week when Parks and I were joking on him. I just say some calm, soothing words, get back in my groove. That's what you just did? (laughs) Now... The video <laughs> that I like, real audio. <laughs> that I have not seen. Creativity. That's why I like it. I like it because I feel like Drake and his team have finally sat down with each other and said, what can we do new, fresh, and different, exciting to incentivize the people to get... I'm not see see people. I see a couple of rumblings about people mad at Drake for it being a, a marketing plan. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck if it is. Yeah. I don't care if it is a marketing plan. It's a brilliant one. And it's right. good. It's good. A good deed. It's a genius marketing plan. I don't care if it wasn't his money. I don't give a fuck whose money it was. I don't. It's almost like a hate proof rollout. I, and I text the group chat immediately, and I said, I feel like Drake has outchanced Chance. Mm. <laughs> now, y'all are laughing, but it's, on this podcast, we could document a few things. You know, back when Chance was on his We Are The World shit, I said, damn. Well, I thought to myself, damn, Drake's got a feel away about this. Drake was easily the nicest guy hip-hop has ever seen. And now Chance is out-nicing him. But that was easy to do because Drake spent a few years being the bad guy. So let me get to my next point. Drake is a much better good guy than bad guy. He is a much better good guy than villain. Would y'all agree that he's been the villain maybe the last few years? The uh, the underdog, the angry guy. I was angry you when I was writing views, all of that type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, It wasn't the happy, you know, it it wasn't that. It It seems like not only is he back to that, but it seems as though there was some real thought involved some real conversations about how we can get this thing going and for me that's monumental for me that's monumental because i felt like that was probably absent on views and more life and if you're reading this it's too late yeah i feel like the last time we've seen drake and and please don't misconstrue what i'm saying because i do think that i agree with maul and roy i do think drake's career is unlike something that we've ever seen before. I agree with that. But after it was a certain point where it seemed like, all right, it was a lot of a lot was a money grab. The future album. <laughs> uh, so I wasn't really feeling that. I'm really excited about this though. This is great, and I still have not seen. I'm probably not going to see the video. I don't. I don't care about. Oh, you should watch it. It's great. 
Well, I see people saying they cried. I don't want to well, cry. <laughs> God, no. I I'll was... cry. I will cry. I'll cry like that video is This Is Us. Yeah, I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> I felt like shit in a sociopath. I thought the whole time this is really great, but I had no... I never, like, choked up when it happened. And I actually felt really bad while I watched everyone on my timeline say well, they were crying. That's because you haven't done a good deed in quite some time. <laughs> no, I just don't document my good deeds. He just passed out a, a shitload of do say this past week. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> he did a great deed. I don't know if that was a great deed. We'd have to see what happened to everyone afterward <laughs> to know if that Every, was everyone made it home safe. If that was Bacardi. noble or not. <laughs> no, how, how was the noble. crowd difference between the previous liquor and this? Oh, he's liquor? not going to tell us the truth. No, no, no. I, <laughs> That's true. I, I can't really base it because it's only been one. But I will say, off the all star shit, it was hilarious seeing our regular consumer mixed in with the all star out. All star, all star uh, consumer. It was like half of our regular people that always come in to dance to party, and then like twenty percent that was like, "Wait, I can't, I can't get a table, I can't get a couch, I can't buy a bottle, I can't stand here. Where's the sparklers at? R- this shit is whack. R- R- sparklers? <laughs> no, we aren't sparklers. Damn. Rory, Rory, truth or truth? I, I do have a choice. Yes, the the or <laughs> the or. <laughs> would, would you say that you are the? Would you say that you are the Kyle Lowry of the Duce Palooza All Stars? I don't know what that means. That's question number one. Question number two. Rephrase that because I'm not a basketball guy. Uh, all right. Would you say you're like uh, so, uh when one of the All Stars gets injured, like the next guy up to bat? Would you say that's where you fall in the Duce Palooza rankings? No. I'm trying to throw you to Alley to big yourself up here <laughs> no. more than Chris Dows and Loki. Well, they're the they're the People that are on the yeah, microphone. Yeah, talk about you, man. Talk about you, man. Fuck all that. Man, what you do? What's your man? Let's get in there. Fuck shit. all that. Where are we talking about shit up do here, man? Do what you do, man. Man, do what you do, Rory. Chris Dallas uh, and them could wait. I would say, uh... Yeah. Minus, <laughs> minus <laughs> minus, minus, I would be the Dennis Rodman. I'm getting all the rebounds. You fucking really heard. Dead. Hey, y'all heard what I'm he doing said. doing all the work behind while y'all interview well, Pippen and Jordan. He said y'all pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he said y'all pussy. <laughs> I'm joking. He said, y'all out at the it's club. Cool. I'm in the studio making all the songs you enjoy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it did look like it's a lot a, of fun, though. It's all the team effort. We're, we're oh, all the great on, teams. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't care about this shit. Hey, no. what, what were we talking about before Duce Palooza? We were talking about something important, I thought. The video. Oh, the, the Drake video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Maul, now that you laughed at me for like 30 minutes, do you at least see where I'm at with my reasoning? I'd like to hear your response to my reasoning. Your reasoning as far as what? Uh, the Drake video that I haven't seen, but really being excited about the direction that he went in. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think it was a great idea. I think it was, you know. Am I, am, am, am it, I the only was, one that seemed like that that took it like he he just dug a little deeper with being yeah, creative or doing yeah, something different? It's only I had I only had one problem with the with, I mean, it, the, what he did was phenomenal. What, it was a great gesture. Changed lives. I mean, it was great. Don't come raining on a parade. No, no, no. I that, just. Yeah, that's normally my job, and I refuse to do it. No, no, it's not rain on a parade. It's just, it's, it's uh, you know, I got to find something in here just to kind of say that I, yeah, it just I, didn't I have sit one. with me. What? But I want to hear it. I, I didn't like the fact that they put the the numbers on the budget on the, on the, in the video. That's my favorite part. Right. No, I didn't like that. Why? Like that. That, uh, that just, eh. You have to. When you're you're doing making a, a chari- video. Yeah, but when you're doing a charitable thing, like I, I just don't like. When you're doing a charitable thing at the end of the year, you have to report to the IRS, you, you to the government, that. You, you what you donated you to can, the taxes. No, no, no. You can do that. Your, your, your lawyers and your accountant, they can do that. I just don't like broadcasting it. Like, no, hey, this is this. Someone could have been like, oh, that could have been like five stacks. People gonna people know. gonna say that regardless. They, they say it now. And they they say it now, and he put the number on the video. That he didn't really give that that much away, but what I'm saying is I just don't like when you do that. No, I wouldn't give a fuck if he gave away fifty grand. No, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't care personally. I'm just saying I just don't like putting the number, like just I telling people how much you gave away. Million dollar videos anymore. Well, that made me want it. Well, that made me. Well, Drake is getting a million dollar video. Word. If anybody's gonna get one, it's him. I, that, what, what would be his last million dollar video? Shit, he I'm talking about the whole era of he, he hip hop. But wait, time out. He didn't say that. He, he had a million dollar video. He said oh, he, he said had a million bu- dollar budget. budget. Yeah. I think that Drake has gotten plenty of million dollar yeah, budgets the, for the um, videos. I just think all the money may have gone to uh, Lyra or the, Bria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they didn't balance that budget. Uh, somebody. Uh, that shit where they did the fake mobster movie. I'm kidding, by the way. Was I'm, probably a million dollars. I'm joking. I don't need anybody texting me. Yeah, because that was like a movie. That was like a movie. Nah, you could get that done. 
for under a million. In this era with the cameras, it's not as expensive. That's he, a, he, he was paying props, he was he had, paying for film really in the whole with all that. Yeah, yeah, he had he had a lot of shit going on in that hey, video. Those though. guns weren't cheap. Yeah, like, he had a lot of shit going Wait, on. Wait, what video? Uh what video? Uh, um, just hold on. We're going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yo, too. y'all watch man videos. Y'all watch your ass. <laughs> I've never seen that video either. <laughs> I, you've never seen any of your videos. <laughs> all my videos are trash. Why would I be watching one of my videos? Yeah, to approve it before it goes nah, out. Nah, never. Corey always shot some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Corey. I'm fucking around. Uh, I, I don't. I think it's hate proof. I, I just think. It, I just think it's hate proof. I think it was a good I, deed. Uh, I think it was noble. It made me want to go out and do some noble and good things for people. Just, I didn't, but I, I mean, say, I, yeah. I wanted to do that. <laughs> uh, you did. You bought Safari lunch today. What are you talking about? And you, uh, and you documented it. That's true. God's plan. And you probably told the price. I just didn't watch long enough. No, I didn't tell the price. It was cheaper, like one fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> order some chicken for lunch. That's <laughs> a lot for lunch. Yeah. God damn. Well, it was three of us. I mean, nah. That's say it would good. just be like ten dollars. Parks. <laughs> no All one. Right. No one laughed a little bit at the shot when it was the family sitting on the steps. And it was like it looked like the beginning of a sitcom, and then like Drake appears, and everyone like pretends to look to the side. That's when I cried. <laughs> That's when I cried. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Tears them, of joy. Them, them families look no real grateful. Just, like no, I know. It's that, did no one cried or no one laughed a little bit at that scene. No, I didn't laugh. <laughs> Shit, if, didn't a nigga, if a nigga hand me twenty thousand, I'm gonna be very grateful too. Uh, yeah. I might Shit. cry. Oh wait, I did find a little bit of hate. I did find a little bit of hate. This is what some people were saying. They were saying that Drake has made <laughs> has made damn near a second career out of Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. <laughs> and he went to Florida and Miami to spend the money. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Drake done been in Houston nah, for the last did, 10 years. He, 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 he started a, a whole a Houston festival. He, he probably could have did Houston. He did Houston <laughs> Day. <laughs> To go to Miami and give the money away. Oh, that's phony. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a strip club in Houston that he gives money away. Yo, every time every I'm week. trying to crack on Drake, you shoot him bail. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He, he has did a, a lot for Get your facts hurricane. the fuck out of here, He has charity. He has make, char- that's why, charity. But make Look, jokes he's with a, us. He's, he's fighting a Drake fact. Make jokes with us. That's, that's a Drake fact. That you're fighting. Yeah, he's spending money in a strip club. That's charity. That's do giving back. You, do you care that Hove <laughs> spent $100,000? At some place, and they kept you a Instagramming new, you the You a receipt. new fan. You a new fan if you think Hove just started spending hundred grand at the club. That tip, I was, I was just impressed by the tip. Like, oh, that's no, one they of, put that hey, in already. Hey, wait yeah. a minute. That's one of those. That's nice. That's one of those new age music elitist disses. I was joking, Yo, you a new fan? A new fan if you ain't know. <laughs> if you think that just started. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I did see people passing around his receipt like it was a big deal, and I was confused. Like why was that a big deal? That waitress people not have, coming back to work. People for have like never like seen a, a, a receipt for ninety thousand dollars. They've just heard people pretend. Richard, I've to never say seen it. a receipt for ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I ain't about to get excited about it. Uh, it was a tip, but people don't understand that that tip doesn't just is, go to one person. Yeah, but he didn't even tip fifteen percent. I didn't see anybody saying he was cheap. How <laughs> sh- how shitty would you have felt if you was the only person in that club without a bottle in your hand? <laughs> like you just looked around and everyone had a bottle. And the bill was ninety grand for seventy five bottles. You know what's funny? And there was sixty people in the club. <laughs> and, Hove, and you Hove, didn't have one. Hove don't really strike me as the guy that's drinking oh like wine back to back to back to or anything back to back to back to back to back. I'll give you my theory off air because I'm in contract I can't speak bad about Hove. No, but you know what though? Uh, oh, I wasn't he, trying to speak bad about. <laughs> <him>. <laughs> a lot of a lot of the, a lot of those bottles he gave away on the club. Yeah, that, that's well, what I was giving to. I would to. hope he was. Well, no, that's I, what I'm saying. He was the assume. one guy. He was the one guy without the bottle. <laughs> yeah, no, he passed. They passed a lot of those bottles around. Would y'all ever do that? How rich do you have to be to do something like that? Like uh, Hove rich to buy to buy ninety thousand uh, dollars worth of alcohol. Example of somebody, I probably pick like Hove. Like Hove, Hove, yeah, Hove rich. I don't even no, know if I had bugging. that money if I could get myself to do that shit. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's have a good time. I mean, if I had it, I, I would. I could definitely do it if I had it. I would do that. I know you the nigga made me go spend all that money on Bernice. I didn't make you spend anything. <laughs> <or> whatever. <laughs> I just well, said what stop was the standing tab? there not spending. Huh? What was the tab? Said. Oh, no. We, we talked about this. Yeah, was it 20 grand or something? Don't, come on. Don't make me angry. He didn't spend 20 grand in a night. No. Oh, okay. 20 grand over time on Bernice. 20 grand over now three. Now I see why you mad about the 20 thing. grand over three nights for me was the same as 20 <laughs> grand. 
That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Three nights. You was wilding for the bartender. That's that's crazy. Did I, I, and, I, and I wasn't and even I, about to fuck. And I what never not? and I never said do that. I just said you. You one hundred percent said, said do that. I said stop going to the strip club, sitting at the bar if you're not spending. You look did, weird. Did you why? Get, did you get a bottle out of it? No, <laughs> it wasn't about me. Drinking. You're the only nigga that like why I, I care drink. about looking weird. But this was years ago. You drank that. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I, not a whole bottle. I'm yeah, that's going, when you had the love handles. Nah, I'm not gonna have a whole bottle to myself, nigga. Like. I was just telling this nigga stop acting like a weirdo going to the strip club sitting at the bar just looking at everybody smoking hookah on his phone. I mean, but he, he does that to this day. <laughs> that's weirdo. I was at the bar. That's Move and let just niggas that squeeze that spend money him. spend money. Move. <laughs> nigga, take that weirdo shit in the back somewhere. I mean, you right. <laughs> take that weirdo shit in the back. Wait, 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 wait. How is he right? If I was You're the sitting at the, the bar not spending yeah, money? That's kind of weird. You can't sit Most at any bars. bar not spend money. I'm famous. You, now you're famous. I was famous then. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't famous. You wasn't famous then. No, no, I'm P list back then. No. You were on TV, yeah. yeah. What do you want me to say? X list is still famous. But you still can't go to you're I was just saying list. Okay, so if you're famous, that's even more of a reason why you can't go to a bar and just sit there and just not I, I in a strip club where everybody around you is spending money and you're not doing you're just sitting there. But why do you have to spend money because you're everyone club, around you is spending that's money? That's strip club etiquette. Okay, why We're do I have to have and strip if you're club gonna, etiquette? If you're, because you're in the strip club. Just like if you're in somebody's house, you have to have etiquette. I don't have to tip the strippers if I'm sitting in the strip club at the bar. If I'm yes, tipping you the, do. No, the fuck I don't. Then move. No. Well, wait, That's wait, wait, the weirdo wait. shit. Is it the strip club where they're in the center of the bar? Yes, yes. Yeah, you, I mean, Man. move. And you're sitting, that's like sitting at the stage. Yeah, move. Fam, exactly, well, move. The, the conversation we're having now is exactly what led to strippers versus bartenders. Because in New York, plenty of niggas sit at the bar. The bartender invites all of their phone index. They come. <laughs> we tip the bartender only. The stripper tries to take the money from her, and that's how they fight. That that You yeah, were we in New thought, York when the strip club yeah, culture that's not, changed. You had more that's not, that, but that's bro. not what it was with you, though. It wasn't I, like oh, you I always sit my bartender. I always sit my bartender. It wasn't like you were sitting there spending a lot of money. Though. Whoa, whoa, now you're changing the content. Well, I got to spend a lot of money. I'm tipping my bartender. I didn't drink. I'm ordering a fucking Coke. <laughs> like, yeah, man, but and I, think I'm a, I, I think I think I'm a gracious. Hours. So, <laughs> so if other niggas is in there to spend I'm money, you. the bartender would want I'm you to move. You. They um, would want you to move. Well, like I, I'm not saying anything crazy. Well, the when, bartender well, would want well, you to move. Well, when they ask me to move, is when I will move. But that, but so, I don't. So, I don't feel like so what avoid type all of, of that. Type of classism shit that you want. Why? Well, more you act like you don't know. I used to go to the strip club at 11 o'clock when nobody was there anyway. A.M. Yeah, but I'm just saying, though, if, you, if you're going to be sitting at the <laughs> bar, you, you should buffet. be spending money. That's all I'm saying. That's all. I never said spend $20,000 or whatever the fuck you spend. All right. Well, I, never said I, I agree to disagree, but let's keep it on this this uh, uh, similar topic, at least. It's Rihanna's birthday yesterday. She turned 30. I did not know that Rihanna was only 30. Rihanna's 20s were better than all of our 20s. <laughs> And that's fine. And that's fine. Where, where but does she rank on the, the 20s list? It's high. Wait, what do you mean the 20s list? Who did their 20s the best? Nobody beat Rihanna. You got Beyonce fucked up. Talk uh, about it. Beyonce's 36. Six years ago, Beyonce. Oh, yeah. nah, but okay. Beyonce got married at like 21. That's Maul, like, Maul, yeah, is, Maul is wrong. Maul yeah. is wrong. Beyonce, had, yeah. Beyonce did not have a better 20s than Rihanna. What's wrong with this nigga? I disagree. <laughs> What's wrong with you? How can you disagree to that? So Destiny's Child, none of that shit was bigger than Rihanna. That was teenage years. We, you talk about music. We're not no. talking about music. No, no, she was she was in her twenties in Destiny's Child, and, and no, she was and on fire. She was winning Grammys, no, selling no, out. We're talking about the whole thing. We're talking, yeah, the whole package. Career. Yeah, mom, knock it what off. What about the whole package? Knock it off. I'm taking, Rihanna looked I'm, like she had a lot more fun in the twenties. In her twenties, yeah, she did so her twenties better. 20s what better. are y'all talking about? Fun. What do you mean? What we talking about? We're not talking about who had more fun. Fun, who, everything. Whose 20s would you pick between Rihanna and Beyonce? I am picking Rihanna. Well, you Be already said you Beyonce be has <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> has been Beyonce's been married forever. Oh, okay. So now I see what you're saying. All right. I'm saying in totality. Married in your 20s. Uh, Rihanna's been a, a I thought he was, I, was thought, I thought he was talking about as far as success. Oh, no. no. Hell no. no. That's what I thought no. he was saying. The whole I picture, like, big no. picture. Big picture. Oh, okay, yeah. No. 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 I, find, I, mean, I don't think Beyonce bodied vacations the way I mean, Rihanna maybe Madonna? <laughs> Beyond, uh, Rihanna, uh, Madonna don't want no smoke with Rihanna in her 20s. Yeah, nah. Nah, Rihanna nah. had the best 20s, man, ever. Share? But that's not even what I brought this up for. Nah, Sherry. Nah. I brought this up because when I was in in all Britney Spears, Sherry was married Maul, too. Britney Maul, Spears, Maul, Sherry was bald and barefoot Maul, in the bathroom. Stop it, oh. Maul. Stop it right this second for real. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know, man. I can, I can, name, a, I can name a bunch of niggas. No, 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 shit no. Out there I can name a bunch no, of niggas no, that was lit. No, he's 20s. not. The only nigga that's going to beat Rihanna is LeBron. <laughs> LeBron's been married since he was fucking 17, too. Word. I have a response. Kobe? But I will not say it. <laughs> Kobe called a rape charge in his 20s. Oh, no, he was in his 30s then, right? No, he was in no, his, his 20s. 20s. Yes, that's, that's Yeah, but that that's could have been exciting for him. <laughs> Kobe? <laughs> Eminem? I don't, I don't know if it was Eminem probably Eminem. had a good 20s. Yeah, but I'm still not going. I'm going Rihanna and LeBron. 50? Uh, no. 50 was Rihanna like 28 LeBron when he came out. I don't even know we're arguing. <laughs> I don't know we're arguing, but 20s, bro. Rihanna and LeBron win this. But I didn't even bring up Rihanna to talk about Rihanna. Rihanna's, you know, nothing can be said about Rihanna. We love Rihanna. And happy belated birthday to Rihanna. But Rihanna made me think of the mythical list that... Only a chosen few are allowed to be on. We've talked about this this list before on this show. Do you gentlemen know the list I'm referring to before I go further or no? The mythical list? I thought you said mystical list, which is going to get really weird, but go ahead. <laughs> well, mystical is probably in the predicament he is because he found a few <laughs> young women that he felt were on the mis- mythical <laughs> list that he probably should have left alone. In, in his 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> well, no. no. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Yo, y'all are fucked up. But no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, you know the list. Come on. I don't know the list. Erica I, Badu. Oh, the, the Rihanna. The mythical, the mythical box list. Yes. That is what I'm saying. Oh. oh. So yeah, my. Like if Rihanna's sex tape came out and it was trash, I would be really, really, really distraught. upset. Yeah. Distraught. Yeah. I wouldn't Depressed. go into my. Yeah, job I, that yeah, day. that would be that would be depression. We're gonna need a day off. Yeah. Might need a couple. Okay, well, while I was thinking about this very mythical list, I had a question. And I would come here and ask you guys this question, but before you laugh me out of the room, I would like you to at least think about the answer. And my question is Is Jordan Sparks the next inductee? to the mythical list. And here's why I'm saying this. We remember a few years ago, Sage, Sage the Gemini was looking a little bipolar after, after Jordan left him. I remember that. I, I, he, was, he was suicidal. <laughs> Poor Caitlin. <laughs> All right. I'm just telling you what was going on with Sage. Back then, he was really sad. And I ain't paying no mind because who the fuck is saying? So was Kalen. So they were a great yeah. <laughs> two niggas. Wait, all right, whatever. But now, so Jordan Sparks left whatever she was doing, and she met some nigga, and she got pregnant, and she's pregnant, right? So on Instagram, she posts, "It's a boy. We have so much to be thankful for, and this is definitely at the top of the list." Uh, then she added the baby daddy. I don't know what you're saying. At whatever, whatever is going to have a little mini me running around. We can't wait to meet him. We love you, little man. Now, Jason Derulo commented underneath. <laughs> Y'all remember I was asking about Jason Derulo, right? <laughs> wait, what happened? Go ahead. No, just a few months ago, I was like, where's Jason Derulo? Uh, let's what, mix the song What's he him. doing? He's he always touring mixing something. for millions of people. Jason Derulo commented underneath and said... I wish that was my boy. (laughs) Hashtag, all my songs are about you. (laughs) Yo. You don't remember the the fire bar that Derulo gave her in one of his songs? No. He said, the only time I need a spark is when I have a blunt. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yo, he's so corny, man. Who? Who? Who I didn't Who are we talking about? Jason Derulo? Oh my god. You think it's corny for real? Jesus Christ. Is he cool in London though? You know you could be corny someplace. I don't cool, know. Cool, 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 and cool somewhere else. London's got different <laughs> standards. No, that, that'd be a thing though. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag it's, it's, all my songs are about you. I Yo, what is happening That's at Park Jason House? Jason Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jason Derulo. So my question is, all right, so Jason Derulo saying that don't just automatically put Jordan Sparks on the mythical box list? No. No. No, he might just put the Derulo. Says the Gemini wanting to kill himself <laughs> because Jordan Sparks left him. Don't don't put him her on the mythical You're box list. About two, those two I think will do that with just about any chick. Sage and Jason Fam, Derulo. The nigga commented <laughs> under her pregnancy post 
with her child's father yeah, and said, just... I wish that was my child. <laughs> it yeah, says but, something. But no, he's, he's that bo- don't put her on the mythical oh, box well, list. And then hashtag, cool how you hashtag after that? <laughs> he's a he's a corn. That don't count. I don't know. I, I know no. I know really nothing about Jason Derulo. One of y'all got to fuck George Sparks now. Huh? <laughs> one no, of y'all do that. She's pregnant. One of y'all got to fuck Jordan Sparks now. Because when I said no, Jason, later. Jordan Sparks was hot, y'all <laughs> laughed me under the bus when I said that. Wait, what'd you say? When I said Jordan Sparks was hot, y'all laughed me under the bus. <laughs> I'm still going to laugh you under the bus. <laughs> Jordan Sparks, she, she's very pretty. No, she is very pretty. I only ever felt a funny way about Jordan Sparks when she had asthma, but the song No Air was out. <laughs> Yo, see what I'm saying? It's only him, man. Why is that funny? Why is somebody having asthma Wait, funny? Nah, y'all, y'all don't listen to the words of that song. <laughs> and now I gotta play the song. Wait, y'all I do don't have listen to, to the words of the song. Oh, should I play the fucking acoustic version? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Parks, give me some. Oh, that's me. All right, you ready for this one? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. All right, here we go. Here we go, right here. <laughs> Come on. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna come in with ooh? <laughs> How many takes you think it took her to ooh with asthma? <laughs> she had a nebulizer in the studio. <laughs> Look, she already talking about dying. This is a love song. <laughs> Y'all don't hear this differently? Look, losing you is like not being able to breathe. <laughs> it's something she can relate this is, to. This is tragic. It's, it's personal uh, writing. Chris Brown shouldn't be on no song where the bitch can't breathe. <laughs> Do we have sleepers? Do we have week? Was that your sleeper? No, we, we don't. We don't have sleepers. No, that was not my sleeper. Yes, we do have sleepers, but we're not at sleepers yet. Uh, I don't care about what this. Oh, Chris Rock special. It's out. We saw it. We saw it. Yeah, we, did. <laughs> we saw it. We saw it. We all saw it. Now tell the truth. <laughs> I, have, I hate I have, when y'all. I have an unpopular, I I have an unpopular opinion. Everyone hated it. I didn't hate it. I thought that I was intrigued. I didn't laugh the way I usually laugh out loud to Chris Rock special. He lied. I was intrigued the whole Yo, time. He he said some I watched real, it twice. He said some real shit in there. Yeah, it was like an interview. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a comedy special. Yeah, yeah Joe like, hate the actual comedy of it was not really there. But Never the, ever. So y'all didn't like it. I liked it. I liked oh, okay. it. I didn't think it was hilarious. Which Fuck is the unpopular lie. opinion because everyone was killing it on Twitter. I liked it. He said some real shit in there. Yeah, I liked it. Trash. Nobody wanna nobody wants to tell <laughs> the trash. truth. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it was Why trash. Why was it trash? It was trash because unfortunately, Chris Rock Chris Rock's name is too big to do a one hour special and it not be chock full of great content. I thought and the it, content was great. I, yeah. If, if I you were to say a, jokes, no. Right. Maybe. I agree. Well, no, because because Chris all Chris Brown, I mean Chris Brown, all of Chris Rock stand ups are it's jokes with some talk and some commentary and some views and some perspectives and political. You know, I, I never expect Chris Rock to go out there and just joke you to death. That's not who he is. This was even it looks like there was a blatant attempt to be even more laid back than he normally is. I think that this was like a more personal stand up for him. Like I think he was revealing stuff about himself. But then, what you know, did he reveal to, about himself? That well, he you know, he was talking about his divorce. He was talking about being addicted to porn. He was talking about um, he he did the new cool rollout. Said uh said he cheated. Yeah, like you know what I mean. It was like a personal, but you know he was making jokes about real life shit about you know having to go to court for custody and all of that. Like I mean, it was uh, more, a more personal. Yeah, thing. not not being able to miss people. Even it was, the way the cool crowd content, was, it was like it was an just, intimate, more intimate setup. Even yeah, the crowd was what, more intimate. I mean, Chris Rock yeah, kind of used to get you, by you on shock value board. a little bit. And Wait, he, when did Chris not Rock shock, buy a shock value? What? He used to say offensive. At the time, the shit was offensive. Now it's kind of hard to offend people. I See, it like. being offensive. Now you can't offend it. Everything is think offensive. Everything right, is yeah, offensive. exactly. Everything is I don't think that's the same thing. I don't think being offensive and being a shock person is the same. I get how being offensive can be shocking, but right. I don't think that's the same thing. So maybe it's not the right terminology, but I think the, the gist of that is is accurate. 
I think that it's hard for Chris Chris Rock to go out there and say some crazy shit because there's so much crazy shit that's been said. I, I but think he doesn't need to say anything look, crazy. I agree. He dragged that. He dragged. Let, all right, forget about. It. Let's 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 get more specific here. There was quite there were quite a few jokes he dragged a lot longer than they needed to be dragged. The audience seemed like they felt the same way. That is unfamiliar to me watching a Chris Rock special. Chris Rock is Chris Rock because he knows when to end it. <laughs> mm. So Chris when he, Rock's so, bits are much longer than most comedians. He repeats himself a lot in all his specials. His bits are long. Chris Rock is not a quick That is bit. not responding to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that Chris Rock doesn't have long bits. I'm saying that some of these bits he dragged longer, a lot longer than they needed to be dragged. And if you needed some hint of that, look in the audience. <laughs> Listen to the audience. And that's fine because I love Chris Rock enough to watch it anyway. But when your special is only an hour, you don't have 30 minutes to fuck around. And that's what I felt he did throughout. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this was more. I don't. I mean, it, it was a special stand up, but I think this was like uh, just a personal, intimate thing. I don't think he was trying to make this like his last one where he was in seven different continents like doing this shit like this was like an intimate i don't even think you can afford to play like that because netflix seems to be making stand up uh from comedians they're one of their main business models Mm -hmm. so i feel like every other week there's a brand new special out by a few different comedians uh cat williams special just came out that was real funny my unpopular opinion that was probably a little bit funnier than than some of these other popular comedians that we see specials from out there Mm mm-hmm I don't know. I just I, I I expected a little more. Yeah, Cat Williams was funny. It was. It's Cat funny. Williams My, shit was hilarious. I didn't get a chance. And to I see guess it. we didn't really. Ex- I didn't expect him to be that that funny. I hadn't seen him in quite some time. Chris Rock is all. He always gets that luxury. I don't care if I haven't seen you in 15, 20 years. I'm yeah, assuming. I mean, well, he's comedic royalty, so he's yeah. always. He's the greatest stand up to me personally ever. Man, Monique, go ahead and get your money. From <laughs> <laughs> if they if they nah, gonna go. My ahead. only gripe with with the Chris Rock shit was. The tambourine callback and title wasn't as impactful in the stand-up as I, I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it like name, a, naming it tambourine and you called it back twice, it wasn't like, I was like, all right. Yeah, It, it wasn't it, exactly. It didn't hit, what, it didn't hit as hard. It didn't as, deserve uh, the title. Mm-hmm. As, as Dave Chappelle's uh, kick it right in the pussy. Like, <laughs> that was, that, like he, that punchline was crazy. Yeah. That was a good punchline. And and not only that, but he was the way he did it was saying like this is how good of a comedian I am. I'm gonna tell you what the punchline is, <laughs> and then come back to it. Like that was dope. Yeah. I don't know, man. Y'all are trash. I enjoyed it. I thought uh, it was we're right. do, we're y'all, saying the unpopular opinion because right. everyone was saying it was trash. I liked it. I, yeah, I, I don't, you want us I to lie? Yeah. I, didn't think I, I enjoyed it. I it watched it twice. Hilarious. It wasn't hilarious. A lot of his his jokes but were kind of dated. It. Yeah, yeah, but it was still, still enjoyable. It. Yeah, it, it, I, no, I liked it too. Mm-hmm. I liked it too. It just wasn't what... It wasn't hilarious. I was expecting from Chris Rock. It was it was different. It was probably too laid back for me. That That's my my critique. Even from how he was dressed. Even from his shape up. Niggas, get his shape up. <laughs> I think, I think that was Chris Rock oh, at, no, at his no. shape up best. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the best the barber could do. Chris Rock. I think when you reach a certain age, like the shape up was kind of like, man, whatever, man, just clean me up, let me get out of here, go back to my kids. Like you pushing fifty, the shape up game is like you don't really care about the shape up. No, now what the, what everyone is doing, and I envy you guys. I, I'll say it: you guys that are able to go get the shape up, but it still look like you just had a rough week. I see that's the new trend. <laughs> and that's what Chris Rock did. Because he was shaped up, but still looked like his hair was going through like laundry day. That's like a style. That's how Steph Curry looked every game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the Steph. It's, it's, it's the Steph. Let me get the Steph. That's not the Steph? It's the Steph. Yeah, why does Steph and LeBron always act like they don't want to talk to each other? You seen them at half court? <laughs> they spoke. But it's kind of yo. Maul talks to all the players behind the scenes, but can't never reveal to us us what they talk about. Like how you know Steph they spoke? LeBron, nigga? They spoke at half court. They had to. They 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 had to mic'd up. They, they show yeah, what nigga. they said. <laughs> but it's I mean it's competitive. They said, they, and I, I like that. I like not acting like you cool. I like that shit. Let's talk about being competitive. Uh, my son has a diss track about me. Mm. Yeah, Everybody um, coming at you. Um, Everybody is it out? It be your own family. No, no, it's not out just yet. He keep wants it, to go back and change some lyrics. <laughs> he wants to tweak a few things. Yeah, I don't think he expected that great reaction that he got. Now he really want to go in for the kill. <laughs> he, like, he like, oh, they like that ball? Oh. <laughs> he like, well, oh. I got more of those. So 
I wanted to ask you guys, number one, how you felt about this, if you felt anything at all. And number two, how I should how I should go about handling this as a as a dad and as a former MC. Get those stems for me. Yeah, Parks has to make sure that shit is mixed right because it sounded it definitely sounded rough sounded on that rough. snippet it I heard. Like move music one, which I mean, <laughs> maybe that's the look that's the look he were and feel he was going for. Yeah, to try to it's really steal yeah. Joe swag because he did flip your flow pretty effortlessly. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for it. <laughs> So I hit him today and I said, hey, well, no, first of all, he hits me over the weekend to say, hey, dad, can me and my friends come over your house and record music? In my head, I thought, you're going to record your Joe Budden diss track at my house. Fuck you. <laughs> and he's, and he's going to film it. Yo, look where we at right now. Yeah, yeah. You got to watch these kids that, you know what I mean? I don't know how they're moving out yeah, here this, now. This pussy upstairs right now. Yeah, I got to protect against that. So I told him no. <laughs> I told him no. <laughs> Uh, and I asked him to send me a copy of the song so I could hear it before the streets. Mm. Oh, you pussy. And he told me it, he couldn't do that. He said, Dad, I can't do that. It's not finished. Mm. I'm going to change. <laughs> Mom. All right, my bad. He said, I got to go change some lyrics. And I said, all right, well, cool. So I, ha- I have the snippet here in case no one's heard it. It took me a while to realize that this is over my beat. Yeah, yeah it's over the love for you beat. He, I don't know. If, what do y'all think I should do about this? I called him and asked him what he thought I should do. Whoop his ass. <laughs> Beat his ass. Like, fuck him up? Hell yeah. I can't do nah, that. I'm joking, nah. man. I can't do that. I've dissed everybody my whole career. Yeah, you so just got to take I, this including one, Including Trey. Including, including, Trey, including right? him. He's just old enough to respond to yeah. Yeah. I know, so I guess that's where I'm going with this. Can I clean him up? Like, can I, can I clean my son up? No, you're not in... Because he would really feel some type of way. I don't know if you're in lyrical shape for yeah, that snippet I heard. You're in lyrical shape to fuck with Trey right now, man. Like, get out of here, man. He's, he's young, he's here. hungry. Let's hear this bull. Dennis, when you drop this on NBA, mm. I didn't understand why you balling in the streets and I'm just watching for the stands. Watch my father on the TV screaming, never broke again. Watch some everyday struggles happening within the fan. You gotta eat that. No, I got a grudge, old nigga. We flesh and blood, old nigga. No if, ands, or buts, old nigga. Yeah, I think my dad oh, is nuts, shit. old nigga. You claim you care, but I'm not giving a fuck, old nigga. It's- old nigga. <laughs> yeah. You screaming NBA never broke again, but we bro, I'm in the stands. I mean, damn. Man, you supposed to be my man. He, Trey got you out of here. Cleaned you right up. I heard a punch in. I heard a punch in. I look, de- look, I, look, I, look. I, I definitely didn't. It was a rough. To, I didn't he need told to, you it wasn't done. Hey, fam, if you 16 punching in, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want no smoke. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, if you punch in and it's what you gonna do with a real MC like me, my nigga? Yo, listen, Joe is the only. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, is his there, son's dis- Yo, is there is there has there ever been another rapper where his son has put out a diss record against his dad? Fifty got one coming. <laughs> I'm not talking about who got one coming. I'm talking about oh. that, that it's recorded and um, done. Let's that see we how, heard. I don't know what Blue's feeling like. What Blue is North. feeling like. <laughs> we got to wait a few years. So you are the first. I don't know. Uh, when, I, when I saw a red-headed Kingpin's daughter at one of my shows, she didn't feel the greatest about their relationship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. There's plenty of hip-hop kids <laughs> angry at their dad is what but I'm saying. You are the first for your kids to I get told, in the booth and I, spit. I told Ice and, and niggas about 10 years ago that this diss track was coming. I mean, yeah, we, knew we that. had we to know, know that Trey was going to uh, diss Corey his dad. Corey Gunn doesn't have anything out? No, nah, he likes it there. Yeah. Oh, okay. My kid likes me, too. This is, this is where it's confusing for me. All right, let me, let, me, let me tell you what I think. If I'm listening to these lyrics here. He had some bars in there, too. He did. Word. He sounded good. Some wordplay. Dennis, when you dropped this on NBA, I didn't understand. Why you balling in the streets and I'm just watching for the stands. Watch my father on the TV. Well, what I well, let me tell you. What I will say, Trey, is I was broke during. The- <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, yeah, Trey. Daddy smoke, lied. Smoke and mirrors no, in the music business. He was saying business, never kiddo. broke again from this point. Yes, from <laughs> from this point forward, we'll never be broke. But you know, listening to this song now, I see why. <laughs> because I was confused. The judge definitely brought uh, NBA up in court. And I was like, how's the judge hip to NBA? But hearing this, this little nigga must have seen the video and went and told his mom, and she went and told the judge. So now he's he's venting about it. So this is hilarious. <laughs> Only you, man. I like it. So I called him and asked him what I should do. And he you said, Trey. Yeah, and he said, respond. Woo. 
Mm. And I was like, nah, you trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you, Roy. Here, here, put that in there, pause. Yeah, I can't respond to my kid. Yes, you can. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know if I should have an intervention with my child or if I needed to call Parks and tear his ass up over a beat. But I don't want to do that. I can't do that. Yeah, I, should I do, mean, uh, he's replying to, you already tore him up in the verse that he's flipping. Ooh. <laughs> like, you, you know what y'all should back. do? Y'all should do like a, uh, like Styles and Kiss, like back and forth, but like Trey asking questions. And That'd be kind of dope. Them. That'd be hard. That'd be hard right there. I just did that with Surf. <laughs> surf is not your child, nigga. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, surf he is. is a grown ass man. What you talk about? It's all us. It's my son. No, it's my you guy. Mean. I'm talking about your, your, your kid. Oh, you mean like my real yeah. biological yeah. child? No, surf is too dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not. Why not? I'm, I'm not responding to my kid. I'm not responding to any of these people. But but boy, he does sound good. This nigga's scared. He, he, I he think does, he's scared he too. Good. He does sound scared. good, but he's still he's still not fuck. He fucked the fuck up. It was not done yet. It wasn't an aggressive. He's then gonna, why, then he's why did he put in, out the he's, snippet? He's going to get in with Parks. Parks going to clean all that shit up. Hey, Trey, get that shit mixed, man. Don't be like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, never got, I never got nothing mixed back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have a few interesting stories to share with you guys. Interesting story number one. Ray Carruth. Are you guys familiar with that gentleman? Yeah. Ray Carruth is scheduled to be released from prison soon. How? And because that's 18 years. Shit. He did 18 years, and he would like custody of his child when he gets out. <laughs> Not happening. That's crazy. I'm just telling y'all what Ray Carruth wants, and I wanted to know what y'all thought about wanting custody of the child you tried to kill along with his mother. Not happening. Isn't the kid 18 anyway? Uh, yeah. Would, have, would, 18 have, now, yeah. <laughs> would have to be close to 18, I would assume, so what, yeah. So was, what custody could you so, have? So, <laughs> Well, I guess the the grand the grandmother raised the child, so I guess she has custody. Y'all are saying past eighteen, you don't need custody, right? But you yeah, still, I don't think so. Right? I think you still have it, though. Really? No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know I don't how that know. works either. I fucking I don't ran away kids. from home at fourteen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> his, his son might be a thug now. He might smoke his pops. You trash if you never ran away from home. Let me throw that out there. <laughs> if you just anytime your mom said, if you don't follow the rules, you gotta stay, and you just stayed. <laughs> I ran away. You for, stayed. I ran away yeah. for an hour and got hungry. Yeah, but that's <laughs> real. That's what you gotta do. Oh, you gotta yeah. you gotta leave, come right back, just show and make it happen. Show and make it happen. Fuck out of here. Run away for shit. an hour and come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah they so, didn't even know you was going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so y'all don't think that's gonna happen? Ray Caruso not getting cut. Hell right? no. Uh, okay, I didn't think that was going to happen either. Uh, what else happened that was interesting? Uh, that was funny that went, oh, shit. Darn it. R. Kelly. R. Kelly has been evicted from his Atlanta homes where he was kidnapping and abducting and, abducting and holding people hostage. <sighs> government back at it again. It be your own government, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to find a new closet to be trapped in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, no air is back. Damn that damn Jordan Sparks. Yo, what's up, baby? Come on, man. Come on. What? Come on. I'm just saying, you can't you can't step in a room if you're evicted. Hey. Ah, uh, you know what I mean? When I was 15. Yo, these, these artists be ruining my childhood, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. The shit they do it's late on, man. Well, my theory is all of the people that uh, we loved, like, before today, like, a while ago, we got it. They got to ruin their legacy <laughs> in the future. Like, all of them. They got to Bill Cosby themselves. Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, Joe Paterno, the list goes on and on. To figure it out. Only people that are safe are Morgan Freeman and fucking Samuel. Chill. <laughs> Not on wood. Would be something about them tomorrow. Think they're gonna take Morgan from us? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna take Morgan. His from explanation, us. though, that voiceover would be hilarious if you got caught doing some creepy shit. Maul, do you give a fuck about? Uh, do you care about Rick Pitino and and Louisville losing all of their whatever they lost, all their records, their championships, their yeah, vacating I, everything? Yeah, but only, I, I'm not really sure what happened there at all. <laughs> well, they were saying that they, you know, they gave kids money and shit like that. Oh, everybody's giving kids money. That's that's why caught. that's why to me they just just like they got caught. You know what? You can't get caught. Yeah, but that but that's why it's, that's why it's, to me it's like 
the NCAA is just uh, that's some fucked up. It's, shit. it's corrupt, man. That shit is that shit is crazy. How you get caught doing the it's, right thing? It's, and le- get it's, in legal, for it's it. legally corrupt. America's corrupt. Yeah, but that shit is that's but it's like come on, man. Y'all making all these money, all this money off these kids. Like, you can't give them something. Let them get a Kia. But yeah, like what the what's the problem? I don't understand, man. Like, let him get a Kia. <laughs> yeah, help his family out. His mom's has to take public transportation for three hours, and her son is the. One of the That's biggest athletes in his school. Patino's just looking bringing out. in millions of dollars for his university. He's you can't give right his mom thing. a car. Like, come on, man. No. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. No, you can't. That those are the rules and regulations, and, and that's how it goes. That's crazy. Here's an idea. That's, that's I have crazy. That, uh, it is. I haven't thought through at all. What if you gave them the money after they graduated? Like accumulated some Yo, form of why money. My, why do you niggas keep calling me? And I do my podcast the same time every day for three oh, years. Yeah. Man, get off my phone! Oh shit! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> get off my phone! What the phone. fuck is Brandon talking? Oh, yo, shit's crazy! It's, too, <laughs> it's Tuesday again. Yeah, again, it's Tuesday. <laughs> With my phone going off, I'm mad, confused, and befuddled. <laughs> and what are we talking about? <laughs> you can say, okay, get off my phone. Yeah. Man. Oh, How you answer and say get, get off, off my phone? phone? Because my phone keeps ringing and I'm trying to talk yeah, to y'all. Yeah, this shit is crazy. Get off my phone, it's Brandon. It's crazy how you keep calling Nigga you Nigga, did this Brandon. podcast in peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to keep calling me during mine. <laughs> Grassroots in peace. What, 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 tell me what we were saying before Brandon Brandon's called. coming up with a solution. Uh, ter- yeah, one that I didn't even think through yet. What if they got their money after they graduated and you got to graduate to get the money? Well, usually after a uh, pro athlete of a, a college athlete graduates, he becomes a pro if he's that good. So I know, but a lot of a lot of those kids, a lot of those kids raised are part of raising a lot of money for the school, but they don't go pro. Oh, you talking about the oh those those? But kids. even not nah, even the even the guys that go pro, they deserve that money, or and that gives them an incentive uh, to graduate and not go straight to the league, even though the league has way more money than I'm sure yeah, the, the problem college is. Kids, they need but, the money while they're in college. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> but I'm just thinking of a solution where you're not completely robbing a kid of what he's making you. They just need to pay kids to go to school. Yeah, they should at least be yeah. able to pay the family. Or yeah, that, that's, 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 that's give that's, them an allowance, a stipend something, or something. Yeah, yeah like couple couple. Thousand no, they, they give you a stipend for a hundred dollars to eat for the week, fam. <laughs> when you are on the road. <laughs> nah, and more. I know you a Laker fan, but and this this has nothing to do with nothing. That fucking what's homeboy's name? Larry Nance Jr. That dunk was trash. He's not a Laker anymore. He's a cat. I know, but you was in there rooting for him. Like, yes, used to be a Laker. Let's go. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rep for the Lake used show. Used to be a Laker. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. That little throw the ball on the backboard where I got to wait and see the replay to know if you're ill or not. I'm cool, my nigga. <laughs> and, then he kept, and then he kept repeating it. Yeah. Yo, you saw what I did. Yeah, we seen it. Whatever. I that, wasn't was that was dope, though. That shit was hard. Nah, no, that shit was OD hard. No, it wasn't. Dope. He's 6'10". So what? It was That's still dope. That's hard. Yeah, come on. He doesn't have that much time. That was, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, you guys yeah. Joe, press that, with you such that, mediocrity. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why celebrities can't be judged. Joe Yo, has never word. done that in his life. <laughs> but I've dunked. But you can never do what? that. Have, have you ever you, dunked? You barely. You, have you ever dunked? You was a barely have you ever ass dunked? Nigga. He got have his fingertips on the rim like. You was one of those Joe dunkers. dunked at Dunk and touched the rim. Yeah, they like bring the hoops down the at Lincoln rim. Park. They got another separate court where the hoops is lower. That's what Joe's talking about. Yeah. Lincoln Park. He dunked on eight. He making it seem like he was windmilling it and all that. You ain't never windmill. You ain't never windmill. <laughs> Wait, that's the diss? No, I haven't windmill. That means you can't really dunk. <laughs> <laughs> for, that's for real. If you can't windmill, you can't really dunk. Every dunker, t- uh, any nigga that play ball will tell you. I don't know if I'm If you can't that windmill, that's not a real dunk. Maul, you and Chloe and all of these athlete friends of yours. <laughs> Chloe's his athlete friend? No, but she's there <laughs> when they're toasting. Like Maul just said with a straight face, if you can't windmill, you can't dunk. That yeah. don't tell you he has if, better if friends than us. No, I'm just saying. If you have not, a million dollars, you ain't a, a millionaire. Yeah, if you don't windmill it, that means you ain't really jumping. Maul, like I can dunk a ball without windmilling. No, nah, but have you, you have you ever dunked? Period. Nigga? No, I haven't. Can yeah, you, come on, don't but talk I'm to never judging the dunk contest. On, you sitting here telling hey, me the dunk yo, that fam, was dope is well. If you never dunked a ball, my nigga, we can't have this talk. We have Fuck out of here! What? Out of here! We nigga, you ain't same. never in game dunk on nobody. Oh, now, yo, more keep adding mad words. I don't care well, what you did. Game dunk is different than a. Uh, yeah, he in the yeah. park by himself. I definitely bullshit. Joe has to travel to dunk. You got to travel to dunk. Are you? Yo, what? What today? Now? You mean right now? Right this second? Yeah, you probably right. I, well, you can dunk right now. Hell no. Oh, yeah, I'm not wrong with that. Fuck I could no. probably dunk one. In, no, not on a broke foot. No, but 
Before I broke my foot, 100% I could dunk with one hand. No, you could Last he, time he we went traveling. to 80th Street Park, Surf saw me dunk with one hand. Niggas have seen me dunk. They'll see me dunk. Call Surf right now. Niggas have seen me dunk. And say what? <laughs> have you seen me dunk? <laughs> If Joe saw it, he's got footage. <laughs> Have you seen me dunk? I hang up on somebody. They call me. Get off my phone. Like I'm about to dunk this call, nigga. Get off my line, man. Have you seen me dunk? Get off my phone. <laughs> Have you seen me dunk this call? Let's see. What, what else is funny? Uh oh. Okay. Dip from my call. This this is helpful to all you cheaters out there. Elon Musk has a way to get us from New York to London in 25 minutes for the same price as an economy. Here's Ticket. my here's I'm my cool. issue before we even tackle that. Why can't MTA hire Elon Musk? If I can get to fucking New London in 25 minutes, but I can't get from 59th Street to downtown in less than an hour. Right. We're using Elon Musk the wrong way this early in his career. We need to hire him for MTA. Uh, the China bus could be a little bit better. <laughs> like, why are we skipping over Rory, all this shit yo, to go right to the fucking rocket ships yeah. that get me to London in five minutes? I, I, I wasn't Rory's listening first, at first, please. but Rory's making some good points, man. I got to hit the air. <laughs> like, have you gone through the Lincoln Tunnel the China ever? Bus. Like, what? <laughs> the China bus is kind of trash, but it will get you from Canal Street to Sumter, South Carolina for $45. <laughs> That's expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's like a $45. No, actually, it's like twenty five. Yeah, yeah. that's a little, feels little Wait, y'all still take? Y'all I never still... get on. I just send my little brothers. And... <laughs> y'all still be taking the China bus though? <laughs> no, nigga. I just, oh, no, I, but I would. I just but put I, family yeah. members I, that I, aren't I, doing as well on I'm, the China I'm bus. Not too good. I'd like to China talk bus. about my humble past. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, have a good uh, trip. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Gonna fly in. <laughs> taking a bus, taking a bus to South Carolina is fucking nah, that's crazy. crazy. No, nah, but some people say it's swag. No, it's not. <laughs> so some people say Who that's swag. That? Stephen Who says that swag? That's like a 32-hour ride. <laughs> yeah, because don't get the China bus with mad passengers. You stopping at every block. <laughs> you stopping at every university. And that should be smelling a little funny then, but you picked it up on Canal. What do you expect to happen? Then? <laughs> so I took the local from D.C. once and stopped through every part of Baltimore and fucking PG County. That bus driver I was like, dog, I'm going to go That bus driver was putting let me stamp off down. <laughs> wait, that wait. bus driver was giving out samples <laughs> all throughout Baltimore. Did Takashi catch you when you were out there? No, nah, this was pre-Takashi. God's plan. He did. You know. Pre-Takashi. Yeah, yeah. It was God's plan. <laughs> Before Takashi. God's, <laughs> God's plan got me there. You don't think that was That God. was God's plan. Yeah, Rory is safe. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Had Yo, I done that now, who knows? Dumb, man. Don't listen to Joe, man. Don't, Don't listen, listen to, to Dumb for saying God kept you safe. Don't listen to Joe. Yo, what the man. fuck is Maul talking that about? That was God's plan. <laughs> Shut, shut up, man. Shut up. All right, let me see what else here is funny. Famous Dex Chain. Who cares? Young Thug changed his name to Sex. Do we care? <laughs> Wait, where you I read think, that? I think if anybody we thought would change their name to Sex, it would be Young Thug. Oh, wait, speaking of, this reminded me of a little tidbit I meant to share earlier. <laughs> wait, think about his names, though. He doesn't put much thought. Young, uh, all right, I'm young. I'm, I'm a thug. I was going with young thug. <laughs> right, I'm done with that. This is what we do now? I mean, we. I can make jokes with you here because I agree. But, I mean, when I heard that shit, my first thing was, ain't it, young thug is on the clock. <laughs> mm. not, I, I always, not every as time as, I think Not that, as far as going back. away. Not, I don't mean he's going to disappear and it's he's over. That's not what I'm saying. He do for something. I think well he just put out it's not it hasn't been a year yet since he put out album. What? no it, I thought it was it ain't been a year he put since he put out beautiful thugger girl I don't think that really had the effect that he meant for it to have uh and what else has he put out recently has it been been a little quiet versus not like any full length projects he got my favorite verse on more life when Black China's head tape came out and I only thought of this because Young Thug changed his name. Lil Uzi Vert added Black China on Twitter and said, hey. I think it had an emoji in there, too. It did. My very first thought was, He's young. Little Uzi is exactly the person that should be the recipient of that head. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? If there was one person in the world Where were who you would see that? that head and say, where's that at? <laughs> I could see it being Little Uzi, is what I'm saying. No China, knock on him. China but, was, <laughs> but, but I'm gonna knock. I was about to say, yeah. about to say that's, something that's, so crazy. That's knocking I can't him. Say that. You can say it. What happened? Oh, that's crazy. No, no, man. Go ahead. Yeah, I hate when you do that. I, I was. <laughs> I hate when you do that. Funny, but it was it's, it's crazy. No, come on, but, man. It's a podcast. Pa- all right, pause. China, pause. Pause. 
paused everything I'm about to say. China was giving that nigga head like his dick stink, man. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't really want to do it. Like he, he probably needed to shower. Like his balls was a little musty or something. Yeah, but that's a common thing, no? What? Must be nuts. This podcast is about to take a, a huge left. <laughs> what you mean? That's all right. I forgot that Maul. I've, I've lived with Maul, so I know Maul takes nine showers a day, even in the winter. No, but what do you mean? Uh, so niggas, <laughs> just, just, so Maul, niggas is Maul, walking Maul around. Maul is a little too clean for no reason. Hold up, but listen. Let me Honestly, ask you something. Let me you ask you something. So, so niggas, so niggas is straddling chicks like that without the wash up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's crazy. You deserve to be on death row doing some shit like that, man. Nah, that you got to. See what this chick is about. What? <laughs> yeah. You gotta wash your ass before you pull that move. That move right there is like I'm. I'm fresh not talking out. about having a dirty <laughs> ass mall. I'm talking about the little crevice between your balls and your thigh. That could be a lawyer. You know I mean, not fresh out the shower. <laughs> taint. <laughs> what? Taint. The taint. Yes, Parks. It's yes. Called the taint for a reason. Yes. You the gotta. Not, you the gotta t- try to shove it in her neck and face area. <laughs> Yo, you gotta wash your ass <laughs> before you do Yo, that. No, though. you don't. Y'all niggas is. Wait, no. so, uh, let me just ask y'all. So y'all niggas is doing oh that my, move yo, without, I hate this nigga, man. Without the wash yo, up? This cool shit is over, my nigga. What are you talking you the about? Last that's cool nigga cool on shit. earth. That's, that's not that's cool considerate. Shit. Shut up. Wash your ass, nigga. M- Maul been having clean balls in front of a bitch nose and still single. Shut up, wash nigga. Wash your ass, Shut nigga. Up. Shut up. I'm single by choice, bro. Oh, no. That's a choice. <laughs> Trust me, that's a choice. So you ain't never been tanked? I ain't never been what? Taint. What is ta- what did you, what you mean I've never been taint? <laughs> What do you mean? I don't even, what is that? What is the slang you're using? <laughs> That's not slang. It's a word. I've yeah. never been taint. The taint refers the taint, to the area. The, the older. Yeah, but that's never been is just a, just not the freshest, not so Johnson and Johnson ish. Oh yeah, but I'm not pulling that move doing that. Oh, but you ain't got bitches though. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't even go, I can't even go at him because it ain't. It's not fair. It's Yo, not fair. It's if not you fair never fight. got head with the the taint crevice, then dogs. You never been to a festival. Yeah, you never just, been to any palooza. <laughs> yeah, do say crazy. sorry. No, that's fine. I do, <laughs> that's fine. I do be thinking that shit though it, within my own group. Like, though, I know everyone in here is wild musty, and y'all got these chicks in here, and they just came from there, and I know they wild musty. Yeah, it's like, wash <laughs> your ass. Oh, please, what's she gonna, what's she gonna do, say that? <laughs> what's she gonna do, say, hey. Do you, you mind? Run, yeah, what the, can, Yo, no. so, so Chicks have a thousand percent taking showers in our Airbnb after, uh, man, Kenya, yeah, wash, sure. wash your ass, man. I don't give a fuck what we do, wash your ass before anything yeah. jump off. I'll even turn the hot water in the tub, let you bake a little while. Get all nah, that nasty I need you to wash your <laughs> ass. Yo, go sit in there for a little while. Don't even sit in it. You got to stand up and wash that Kill ass. Kill all that back. Wash that ass. Sucking dirty dick does a little something, I, I, I think. Re- I don't even no? know. What? I'm not going with this. No. It's just adrenaline rush. It's like fucking in a hallway. Like, ooh, somebody might see. Like, ooh, she might smell this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> It's a dirty dick. I'm not. Right? Wait, see, I didn't say nothing about me, Maul. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't don't talk do that. that. Don't certain do that. Bars you can't do that unless you lived it, B. You lived that. Nah. That, ain't, that ain't a third party I story, nah. B. You lived that. That's not my bar. Get the fuck out Those of here. Those are not man. my bars. No, you can't do that. You, you a dirty dick. I'm you not. a dirty jersey dick. <laughs> it's a dirty jersey. I'm not actually to you, I'm not. call it dirty jersey. You know what's funny? Quite the opposite. I'm I'm not even the biggest head guy. I don't give a fuck about this shit. That's not a thing. What? what head? That's I'm not, not the thing. biggest head guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a real thing. That's not a thing. That's that not is a thing. thing. I've never smelled a nigga got head. head. Yeah, I don't want no head right now. <laughs> what? No nigga has ever turned down head. Head? You ain't turning down no head. Nah, you saw in the China video. He didn't even turn that down. <laughs> You're not turning down no head. You'll sit through whack head. No, I won't. Shit. Mm, I don't know. You might. No, you might I won't. And that's the difference between you and I. Or most we, men. Not, not, it's not just you, Maul. It's not just you. Listen to me. I know that men put a lot of stock into head. I know that. I know that. And that's great. But we've had this conversation a lot. I may have even said it here before. My unpopular opinion is at least 75% of chicks don't know how to give head. I mean, that's true. With that said, and, and just follow me. I'm not my, rolling with that number, but go ahead. 65? Mm, no. I might roll with that 75. Oh, wait. No. It's, no. You're not going lower than 65%. Yeah. Tell Oh, you now fucking Now in 2018, oh, never yeah, mind. for sure. Never mind. If, we, yeah, sure. if you think that... No, but get, get to your point. Though. Ain't no point if you think that more than 65% of chicks know how to give head, because then I would understand you thinking I'm crazy, saying I'm not a head guy. You, if you think that all those chicks give Tiana whatever head, uh, what's the uh, porn Tiana, star? Tiana Trump. 
Tiana Trump head and that, that's how you feel, then yeah, of course that sounds crazy. I that's don't why, believe that's that why at I, all. That's <laughs> exactly why I think that number's low because I think chicks now see all of these videos oh, of chicks no. sucking dick and yeah, they, they try to... I don't mean they're good at it, though. Yo, you yeah. are crazy, No, but they at least try to emulate it. Uh, yeah, but it don't work. Worse. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, shit. First of all, they think personality That's the too. worst when they think they're going wild crazy. Yeah, it's like, all right, you need to relax. And and 75% is wild, though. That's No, 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 no. I might roll with that. No way. I'm one... My worst case scenario is 55. Seven out of 10 women don't know how to give head? Yeah. Not rolling. Uh, I am not rolling with that yeah. number. No yeah. way. No way. Yes. No like way. Give, yes. Like good no head. Way. Yes. yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. To give good head? Yeah, we're talking, no about, yeah, we're talking about good head. Good head. Good head. I'm not rolling with seven not out of ten oh, women don't crazy. know how to give head. Good head. I'm not rolling with that. I'm ten wrong. women line up in here right now. Seven of them don't know how to give good head. I think all ten yep. are going to think they know Hell how. No. Yeah. Seven, and Especially and if you don't have why, a rapport. But that's why it's a, a slippery slope because all women think they know how to give head. Nah. I'm I'm have I'm having a man conversation. Well, I've seen no, I, you. I've, I've heard seen, women say they don't I've know seen how to give you ask, I've heard it. I've, I've heard seen it. for seven years your very first truth or truth question be on a scale of one to ten, how is your head? And I they've they've never said less than nine. Yeah, but they've <laughs> never said and, less and, than and, nine, Ma. And, and we've never found out. So it's like I don't know. I don't know. But that's what, so what we're they saying. might really give no, good great head. I don't know. I've never. I've what never, are the chances that fucking? I'm just saying I don't know. So you don't know that all chicks think they give good head. I can't say that. I, I, no, I'm not saying the that chick they, that came through and bit your fucking helmet off for for fucking 20 minutes straight thought she gave good head too. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, look now, oh. now it's wait what? What are you talking about? <laughs> now it's what am I talking? So, because you never got bad head, I'm assuming. No, hell yeah. All right, so in bad head, a, a chick has definitely come over and put her teeth marks on your oh, yeah, penis. So sure. you're telling me you're gonna sit through that? <laughs> I you have got, because yeah. head is so great. You're gonna sit. through No, no, it. no I've I've tried to coach her. Like, you are I don't a just fucking mutt. Stop. I ain't like, got to see you gonna teach a bitch how to swim and how to suck dick. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing. I'm gonna learn them. I'm, I'm not learning. learning nothing. If you don't know how to do it, no, you don't you know how to do, do it. Sometimes. You oh, give a little, please. Little bit. There's only so much you can teach that fake crazy. rapper shit. Like that fake yeah. rapper. I'm not sitting through no whack head. Like, get the, you have nothing else to do. The studio's closed. <laughs> your dick's You're out. not on tour. Your dick's out. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, sit through some whack head or at least teach her. Never. But I think it there's only so happen. much you can duty. teach them. No, no You can't teach a girl to give it No head will always be better than bad head. Always. This nigga got bad It will always be bad head. You must have had a mangle. This nigga must have. You stuck, had a bad experience. This nigga must have stuck his dick. I in the feel you. Though. I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. I really Listen, do, bro. I'm. I'm. I, yeah. I'm. But to say I'm, I'm not a head guy is crazy. I'm not a head guy. <laughs> it's not a real thing, bro. It's not <laughs> a real thing. <laughs> but that is a real thing. That's not That's a real thing. That is a real thing. I know that that is unbelievable to you, gentlemen. But there are men out there who are not predicated okay, so, much of their so, sex so lives you, on head. So if you if you knew a woman gives great head and she wanted to give you head, you'll you'll turn it. You'll be like, nah, I'm cool. No. You wouldn't do that? No. So then I would want some of it. Exactly. So that's proving my <laughs> so point. You're a head guy. <laughs> I would want some of it. You just don't want bad head. Right. I don't, I don't think nobody wants bad head. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want that's bad why we're head. saying you can't no... play both sides of the fence. You just you just chastised me for not sitting through bad head. I, you, so you now you're saying, saying no guy wants bad head. No I'm guy, saying I'm saying that no guy some of y'all knows a girl that had, that gives bad head and says, I want to keep getting that head. <laughs> no, but you teach her how to get that head. Yes, they do. You that is a lie. About, you niggas man. have definitely gotten bad head from a chick and called her back. You but, did. But, but you're trying, now but you're trying to I, But you're trying to teach I, her how to give good head. I slam a name on this table like but the big joker, nigga. Go ahead to, and lie to me. But you're trying to teach her how to give good head, though. No, I'm not. I'm an adult. I'm not teaching no chick how to have sex. Oh, man. See, see, this is that rapper shit. I'm not. All right. Cool. And no, it's not, because I know plenty of rappers that are teaching women how to, how to have sex. Exactly. I am yeah, not. I know plenty of men that's doing that. I'm not doing that. All right, I, my my time is it's a cool. bit more valuable to me than to teach some chick how she should be sucking dick. Oh boy, okay, you got it. And I have had some mangle jobs. That, that. We, we, and every man has, every man. But you, but that point doesn't refute anything I'm saying. I'm, every man, I'm, every, I'm every, man every, every man, every man, every every man is not a head guy because a nigga will take great head or good head. Don't make him a head guy. All right, so what when does you, that make so him? when you say, well, I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, 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 give you an example, a tit guy. What does it mean when we say someone is a breast man? It do, it doesn't mean they like good breasts, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, to their standards, that's a that's good titties to them. It depends. Yeah. A ass man. When you say somebody's an ass man, that don't mean they like the great asses. Like, come on. What, what are y'all talking about? What does that mean? 
Forget it. Like, I'm asking. What does that mean? To, when they say to them, ass? it's a good ass. Right. It mean, meaning meaning right, to head. All right, that's so, good so head if somebody is saying they're an ass man, normally what I I take it to mean is that they prefer ass over everything else. Like it's a pretty high on their list. So if somebody is telling me that they're, they're a head guy, then what do you prefer it over? Because if you're asking me if I would uh, have a choice between head and sex, I'm going sex and pussy in every time. Of course. Yeah, it's I mean, the it's number so, one so, hole. So when you yeah. say a head... <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. But a, a head guy, I don't think all, all, all I'm refuting head. here is y'all saying there's no such thing as a guy who's not a head guy. That's the only thing I'm refuting. Yeah, y'all dancing all over the place. I don't think that's a real that's thing. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I have a theory, too. I think men that love overly voluptuous women, like with stupid big asses and stupid big titties, I think a lot of dudes like that are like borderline gay. Joe's going to fight you. I know, but Joe's I want him, slim well, women. Like, well, I'm talking about true. dudes that are only like. They need the stupid big butts and the nah. stupid big titties. I think I, I do. I think they're trying to make up for. They're trying to show you yeah, I like women, but it's like, dog, you really like. Boys. I don't see that correlation. Wait, I, yeah, I don't know. I do. I think I you think it's, just like I think somewhere. I think some, nah, but I think somewhere in there, that's a guy trying to like prove that he likes girls. Bomb. Like, you don't have to prove that you like girls if you like girls. The black china head, right? That specific head that we watched. Tell me exactly what you three gentlemen. Would do to receive that head. I, huh? Wait, what well, I would yeah. do to receive it? No, it's always a hug. No, no, I, I don't understand. Oh, I, 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 I would switch positions. I want to hear a, what y'all would do. I would switch positions. Would you go out of your way to receive that head? Hell no. no. I'm, I'm asking not, no. what you would do to receive that Nothing. head. Nothing. No, I'm not going out my way to receive that head. No. But if it just popped up in the crib one day, you take it. I mean, if it's like my first time getting like with her, no, and, that, you, and, that, and that's what happens. I, I mean, that's your first time no, getting that type of head. No, if you her. know that the head is of that caliber, is the pussy good? And it's a, a Wednesday night. No, you're see, a little lonely. No, if you're a blowjob kind of sore, you're never even getting head and expecting much from that position. Why would you be straddling the chest and throwing the cock on the lips and expecting amazing results if you were a head kind of sore? <laughs> you wouldn't. A head that's console. a terrible <laughs> position to receive head in. Well, that's why I asked how did they even get it. <laughs> <laughs> and Maul said you get that way by looking for the remote. <laughs> I don't know where Maul's remote be. <laughs> <laughs> behind the headboard sometimes. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. That's true. It'd be behind the headboard sometimes. Oh, I see a little move there. Huh? Come on, don't my the remote. Hold on, I gotta charge my phone. Pardon me, Ma. Yeah. Gotta, gotta get that. The outlet's there. Hey, gotta plug my... didn't see your mouth there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. That came on on all my VHS porns. That particular song. Like when she let the pizza guy in. <laughs> Joe watching porn way too long. Bro. No, I just searched for the porn with intricate stories in the front. Oh my god! The, one with the pizza guy where they cut the hole through the pizza. Yes, box. yes. Oh, Did you man. order sausage? Oh man, that one is excellent. The hole in the pizza. Maul definitely put a hole in popcorn at the movie. Maul definitely. Maul one hundred percent in the popcorn. Yeah, I mean, or he tried to do the sucker shit, reach his hand, and at the same time. While they was, That's what I tried to When do. they got to Wakanda. <laughs> That's what I tried to do. Like, oh, shit, Wakanda. Oh, it's your hand, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking, speaking of head, a good friend of mine came over over the weekend, and he told a story that I found to be a bit unbelievable, but I know it was true because he wouldn't lie to me. Maul heard the story as well. I told, I told my friend I would protect his anonymity, but I did want to share this story with you guys. So I could get your opinion. And this this gentleman was telling us about some head he received. Do you remember this story? Yeah. Well, can you tell him? I don't want to fuck it up. I just want to talk after the story. The <laughs> head he received? No, I didn't see. I, I heard what he did with his. Is this a story okay. about one of y'all that we're just saying? Is no, no, no. Not at all. No. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine went and got some white girl head. Okay. I had a conversation about this this past weekend, too. So. White girl head, uh, in all the urban legends that I've heard, is different head. It's different. It's different head. So he said he he, he went to see this young lady, and she began to give him head. And somewhere in the middle, wait, no. What did she say? 
Help me more. While he was getting Because I was, I was blown away by this part. I didn't even <laughs> understand. He just said while he was getting no, head. Oh, the- got it. Got it. So while she was sucking his dick. Boy, I was blown away by this. No while problem. she was sucking his dick, she was rubbing his foot against <laughs> her vagina. Shoot. Okay. And then she inserted a few of his toes. Wow. <laughs> Inside of her vagina, and then she took it out so and she off. sucked herself off of his feet. This chick was nasty. He said great. she was an older white woman, and and he said that this was easily some of the best head he's ever received. I was blown away by this one because I was I was blown away that he would fuck a chick who's been putting feet in her pussy all her life. <laughs> 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 All her life Foot in the pussy is crazy That was telling to me Number one He kicked on the pussy well, number, why, number, why he had his socks off Is what, what I'm curious about That's a really good point <laughs> Y'all fuck with your socks on? Hell yeah Well depending who it is Well are y'all home? It doesn't matter where I am Oh shit I'm barefoot in the crib <laughs> nah, socks, socks on in the crib yeah, nah, not till till, I'm not just till, taking my till, socks yeah. off not yeah. till I'm It's gotta to be a little sleep. intimate if, Yeah That's how I'm going to sleep I was amazed that he, he was into that, number one. And number two, I was amazed that it, there was a chick that's, that's given that type of head. I was amazed that at his age, he was still into that type of sex. <laughs> I'm amazed that that's a type of sex. I don't want to have that type of sex I'm no more. I'm not going to knock him. That's never happened to me. So I'm I don't cool. know what I would do in I'm that cool, situation. My nigga. Don't I put might my, let it rock. Don't put my foot in your pussy. <laughs> don't put my foot in your pussy. Don't put my foot in your pussy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, if you guys are listening to work, I want to apologize for the, vo- for, for the vulgarity. Some of y'all hit me on Twitter. Yo, I'm laughing out loud. I'm going to get fired. And I be feeling bad. Don't get fired. But I'm not sticking my foot in no chick. That's crazy. Put the I've done toe. it before. But what? Joking, though. It was like. Uh. <laughs> wait, wait. You was doing a bit? see if I can get that shit off. You've like, never role played, but you've towed, Maul, a, towed a chick? You're not sticking no. your big toe in a chick joking. Oh, my bad. Ha, ha, ha. It wasn't like. Oh, it, you got it in there, right? You know, it's it kind of wet. I know. It wasn't inside of her. It was like, you know, she was laying in. I just a little, 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 little kick A little clip, mas- pussy clip little massage bit. with no, the big toe? I pussy a little bit. <laughs> I just stepped on a pussy a little bit. That was all. I don't want the type of sex that. A chick is putting my foot in their vagina. Yeah, I'm not, not in. I'm not a big that's, foot that's, guy. It's really. over. It's foot, over. Foot in sex isn't really a mix to me. It's not. It's not high on my list at all. You know. Listen. No all, knock. No, no knock. <laughs> no, no. It is a knock. Knock. It's a knock. <laughs> knock twice. Knock twice. <laughs> Already during sex, I, I gotta fucking put my hand on my fucking heart to check to check how it's beating. <laughs> What the fuck you think I would do if a chick just put my foot in her pussy? I don't look at sin like, man, if you don't keep my foot. <laughs> Have you ever seen this gentleman's feet before? No, but shit, he's like 6'3". <laughs> he got to wear a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't like the bitch is putting a, a 9 in her pussy. <laughs> That's a big Holy toe. Shit. And you know this nigga be wearing bootcut jeans. <laughs> so... <laughs> So now, how you gonna let a nigga in bootcut jeans put his big toe in your vagina? I'm judging both of y'all. I'm cool. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's just how I'm feeling. I wanna know and I want to know what sneakers he had on that day. Was it the beginning of the day or the end of the day? <laughs> how sweaty was the? You floor? know the nigga had on some uh, uh, ni- he, Nike he, boots. Did he say if he fucked <laughs> afterwards? Stacy <Stacey> G's. <laughs> No, if if you put your foot in, in a woman, I'm, I'm, assu- I'm assuming that you had sex afterwards. I don't, I don't know, know what I would. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm well, leaving. We, I'm leaving. Just, um, we were just having this conversation in the Airbnb this weekend about the myth. I mean, I'm a little younger than y'all. The myth of white women and them being the greatest at head. I don't, I've not experienced that. I think black women have been far better at head in my life than white women have. But I know that's like an older thing. So I'm speaking from my generation and everyone my age agreed off rip and said, I don't know where they get that theory from. I want to have this talk with you, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid too. <laughs> so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting me, buddy. No, sir, Bob. What I will say, though, is at least uh, probably about, what am I? Damn, I'm 37. Yikes. I'm going to die. Just kicked in. <laughs> Hell, Jesus. Uh, when I was 22, though, and I was living in Secaucus, I had some really wild Italians. <laughs> they, 
Don't, don't think that the Italians is not white. No, Italians are white. <laughs> Italians are white. But Italians white, so that counts, right? Yes. Yeah. They're, they're in the white category. Oh, and this Italian. No, she introduced me to Special K. I was like, what are you taking? Special Bitch, get K. out. <laughs> get out. Get out and give me my foot. <laughs> give me my foot back. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Made me put my foot in your ass fucking, next time. Got this Special K on my toe. <laughs> Put my foot in your ass mm. next time you come over here. Italians are wild. Italians are wild. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about head. I'm getting away from that conversation. <laughs> so, scare me. Uh, I think we talked about everything somehow. Yeah. Yeah, we got to foot sex. So uh, Did you guys? Uh, we definitely got to foot sex. I think that. <laughs> I think we covered much. everything. Let me just run over my topic sheet here. Topic yeah? sheet. Yeah? <laughs> you mean the text message? <laughs> no, I wrote it in my notes. Uh, let's see here. Yep. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about anything else. Yeah, we covered everything. Uh, oh, shit, R- real quick. Uh, and I'll only say this because uh, I was wondering for the last few months what happened to that Joanna the Scammer girl, uh, dude, or the character anyway. I know last VMA, uh, he was there, and then I hadn't seen him all year. So he put a clip out saying that he's absent and he's not doing Joanna the Scammer anymore for the moment because his mother is dying of cancer. Uh, so he would like to, you know, be private. I, I respected that. I respected him even telling us. So uh, prayers go out to Joanna the Scammer and and his family. Uh, his name is Brandon, so let me address him by his real name. Prayers go out to Brandon. Is that who called you? No. Huh? Is that who was called you and said, get off my phone? You said Brandon. Oh, uh, no. No. No, that was my friend, Brandon. Gotcha. This was Joanna the Scammer I'm talking about, right. if you'd listen during the podcast. You said <laughs> the name was Brandon. Let's see what else here. I could talk about Hell Row all day. <laughs> oh, okay, Keisha Cole. Uh, they've announced Keisha Cole's leaving, loving hip-hop. I'm only telling you guys, because if I didn't, you guys wouldn't know. She only said five <laughs> words last season anyway, so I could have told you she wasn't coming back. She but got she- the bag, though. Wait, I didn't watch Love and Hip Hop last night, but I looked at Rocky's timeline and seen Webb watching himself get cursed out. Did you watch last night? Uh, Two nights ago, rather? Yeah, but I, I was falling asleep. But I did see Webb black out on Bianca. I called him today to make sure that he was okay. I didn't. I never saw him with veins popping out of his forehead, so I just wanted <laughs> to make sure that he was safe and sound. I called Safari, too, to check on him after he did the Patrick Swayze ghost scene with Juju and he was building clay and making pottery barn shit. He's <laughs> making sure everybody was all right. <laughs> That's not swag? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. How long before Cam and Safari start beefing? Uh, I think they how long? <laughs> yeah, I thought they was beefing already. Oh, I didn't know. I, I don't keep up with that shit, man. I don't like rappers. I know you shouldn't date no uh, chick that a nigga loved for 10 years, like shortly after. <laughs> and I'm and I'm not going to say they're dating. You know, that's probably, you know, that's probably storyline loving hip hop shit. So, and Cam would probably know that. I don't think Cam thinks they're dating. Yeah, but it's still a bad look for him. Yeah, but you're not even a real nigga if you don't fucking send threatening texts to your ex. Or say that, I At wish some that, point. Ba- that baby was mine. <laughs> not a real nigga if you don't send threatening text to your ex. Man, I'm rolling. Not, not <laughs> threatening like abuse, but threatening like, yo, that nigga, I, did you fucking him? <laughs> <laughs> you have, Yo, you, you, ha- you have to send a text to let her know that you know who she's fucking. You got to. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> you ain't never did that. Nah. Yes, you did. I've never. <laughs> yes, you did. I just answered you. No, <laughs> well, I feel like you that. do a lot that you'll never admit. I've to. never. You think you mean to tell me? You think I've texted a girl, uh, my one of my ex girls, and said, "Yo, that nigga you dating, that nigga you fucking like, I'll fuck him up." No, I don't think you ever said that. I think you implied it. I think you definitely texted a chick and said, "Word." <laughs> I've definitely, I've definitely said a couple Boy, word questions. Definitely text the chick here, like man. word him. No. Wow. Word him? Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 He think I'm a clown. Wow. <laughs> word. Okay. I mean, Chris Paul, cool, but him. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even start. <laughs> Maul is that guy. Never. Uh, all right. I think we covered everything. Shout out to the story that'll break tomorrow. The day after that. Uh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Uh, we got sleepers. We always got sleepers. I think I played my sleeper uh, in the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> I was so hype. I was so hype. That Nipsey album, man. Go, go, Nipsey and Karen and Kaiser. 
Yeah, shit was great. I like to know uh, the details of that deal. <laughs> you I want to know, know the, the, the details. Want, <laughs> no, no, I'm only saying it because Nipsey is fucking business savvy. So I think yeah. that I'm assuming that Nipsey got the better end of that deal. I said that on Everyday Struggle before. Yeah, I don't think he would have taken yeah, not yeah, being independent. Yeah. For I that, don't. So. I don't think so. And you, come, this is him busting his gun. He came, came in with Puff, got the major, got his team. I like it. I like how Nipsey move. Yeah. No, this shit is like it's, it's good TED Talk and bars over Rick Ross beats. <laughs> it's like the perfect combination. Beats that remind people of Ross. I'm not gonna. Say They're not that. Rick Ross beats. Yeah, because Nipsey has always picked yeah, yeah, yeah. good beats. So yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to discredit him with Nip, that. No, I, just, I was pick, giving him credit for his ear. He the way he gave Ross credit for his he ear. Get off in different pockets, like, and it's like switch up his flow a little bit. Like Nip, Nip has always been. Yeah. Good at doing N- you know what I will say? Nip, Nip is one of the only people who who make West Coast songs I like. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Careful. Like last time that I no, I mean songs that sound. You know, from the West Coast. Last time that I checked, that song, yeah. uh, Rap Niggas, you know, it's, it's not so many well, people that make the what true to West Coast. You got to be from the West Coast to, to feel it songs. I, lo- I love all of his. I don't he know did, what it is. He, he did similar to what YG did with My Crazy Life, where it was super West Coast, but YG's it, another it still one. sounded like the year it came out. Yeah, YG. Like, this doesn't sound like a old nostalgic Snoop album. It sounds like a Nipsey 2018 album, but very in that traditional West Coast sound. More or less. Agreed. If Hal Rail was eating steamed broccoli, you should have threw it. <laughs> you know, sometimes they'll leave the hot water for the tea at those type of spots. That might have came in handy. <laughs> yo, yo. I don't even eat at places I don't know where the kitchen is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you, are you what I'm saying. So he, the best food he, is he, was, he was on all fours going the wrong way. He could have ran to the kitchen and grabbed the utensils. Yeah, that's true. Honestly. All yeah. the utensils on his table. They was probably plastic. No. Oh my God. Why are you there? Plastic <laughs> utensils? At the shrimp la cafe. <laughs> You're gonna make me go to one and nine tonight when I get back to Jersey City. Some restaurants you just shouldn't bring your family to, babe. This nigga's at the shrimp la cafe. All right. What are we doing with sleepers? Who's going first? Who's going first? I have to find one. Uh, so that's I'm gonna play uh, play something from Jag. This is who changed. This is Jag. Jag was at Duce Palooza. Where the song at, nigga? <laughs> Where your song at, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, why song? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dalton Avon. Yeah. I go by Jag if you don't know. Yeah. Seeing you change. Cause I play a new game. Finally fixed the image when it found a new lane. Tired of being coaching when they found a new play. Got the wifey right with bread and when they got the new check. Oh, I chase cause I smoke more. I'm happy I joke more. Airbnbs for nothing, cripple got four floor. Cause I'm in bars now, kicking with stars now. Goonies all around us looking like niggas guard down. Little nigga who changed? I'm changing cause cook popping. You in the taking bitches down, my bitches get took shopping. Went from Jordans to Louis, look like niggas got foot options. See me out in public now, I'm probably out bush shopping. My nigga who changed? Oh, I changed cause I finally got a ride. And your ass seen when nigga just got in? Damn. Oh, I changed cause I'm moving out the hood. Same hood my little nigga got shot in. Little nigga who changed? Yeah. 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 Real talk, little nigga who changed? Huh? I've been the realest nigga living, never changed. Little nigga, you changed. Yeah. Real talk, little nigga, who changed? I've been doing this for real. You've been faking, little nigga, you changed. 
Treated like a peon. Never had a bed, but bought a crib and never be on. Little brother balling now, feeling like I'm Leon. Texas to the exes, cause I'm on the board with she wrong. Shout out to the wifey though. Thank you, boo, for being you. Shall I have disease? I see a model when I'm seeing you. You grind like a nigga. I can see a little me and you. You ready for a baby? I can see a little me and you. Saying I changed, baby. Saying I changed, baby. Cause I got me some change, baby. Was riding the bus. I went and got us some range, baby. Got us some range, baby. For sitting that bro shit, cause a nigga ain't no shit. Now I'm using my brain, baby. Now I'm using my brain, baby. Some me, man, that shit ain't never happened. Boy, that's crazy. That's like JD and Kane, baby. Like JD and Kane, baby. About to drop the first album on the first is always special. That's like Toy and Wayne, baby. So nigga, who changed? Still be saving all that change. Got up in that blue range. Kid came brazy, always been up on my Luke Kane. I always had dreams of being Bruce Wayne. My nigga, who changed? Yeah. My nigga, who changed? I'm just here to talk that shit, man. Give you my shit, you know what I mean? My best friend say I'm changing. But who really Hollywood, nigga? Why well, sell the ganja when I know the molly good, nigga? Look at stress, home, I'm fucking neck gone. I see you gain some weight and I'm just hoping that your body good, nigga. It's all love, yeah. Reason my manager help you. But I know where you live and nigga, I can still melt you, yeah. The wrong nigga probably diss me thinking this for him. The type to hear the crowd screaming thinking this for them. You really think you competition, boy, you niggas crazy. Dropping two tapes a year, I swear you niggas lazy. Less than a thousand followers, I don't get you, guy. Small fry, I know I I got some bigger fish to fry. You know it's levels, nigga. Yeah, it's the difference between the G-Shock and the Roly. Yours plastic, mine's metal, nigga. And yours selection for the dumb niggas. Mine's don't even tick and got a bezel, nigga. I told you it's levels, nigga. So, nigga, who changed? Because if anything, I helped some of you niggas. Never felt none of you niggas. Pause. Men, just look at what I did for your bitches. I showed them real and let them know that you too big for your bridges. Damn. And, man, I'm trying to empower the streets. Oh, you ain't know this home. You never had no power. It's me. I get the killing with the feeling. Just devour the Beast, doing niggas dirty and who say that a shower is cheap oh it's beef yeah well i've been looking for a cookout niggas acting like they looking out but looking for a lookout yeah them gunshots my niggas know the sound i can eyeball and tell you it's short it's like i know the pound and free hambo he a crip i told him don moves rolling with chubby he told me hold it down eight months and you be home boy it won't be long and if you thought that i'd be popping boy you won't be wrong me and Relly be there waiting hand and you change because that's what family do for family nigga who change check that's Jag. Who changed? Well, damn. Spaz doing that. <laughs> Whoever changed, he had enough of them. <laughs> 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 uh, am I going or are you going? Uh, I guess I'll go. I had a busy week, so I wasn't searching for music. Humble oh, brag. Boy. Oh, here we, here we go with this bullshit already. <laughs> here we go with already. this bullshit, this rollout. Yeah. Look at that rollout. Yeah, I was busy this week in L.A. at All Star. Me you know, and Jordan, not, LeBron. And you, know, you know how it go. No. <laughs> You know how it go. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I didn't see enough people talking about the new black song, Cutting Ties. Great. So Took I want my to sleeper. I really hate when that happens. Oh, yeah. I really don't have a sleeper now. Uh, Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. This, this will be your sleeper. I knew I should have went first. Now, nah, fuck you, buddy. I got another one. Me too. Oh. You got one? When a nigga's on it I've been trying to balance all this on my plate I ain't trying to be lying to your face You can do better than I Something I need to share before you rest here I know that you get your best here But I can't figure out what's next here Pray to God I don't have to pay for not knowing This world is new to me, I do not know it My pride never wanted you to notice Sometimes I just want to be alone and Either way I gotta go Whoa, no. When it comes to cutting ties, girl, I'm like a pro
hydroplane and trying to pop my brakes. I don't wanna make it look like I ran away. You could do better than I. Something you need to know, you gotta let go. You throw in a fit and that's all. Don't be stepping on my press though. God, I don't have to pay for not knowing This world is new to me, I do not know it I pride never wanted you to know this Sometimes I wanna be alone and Brand new music from Black that was called Cutting Ties right here from Rory's Phone 101. <laughs> All right. I just wonder what Cash Doll's doing. Yeah, you know what Maul's funny? Maul gonna come to my house talking about, yo, I think Cash Doll broke up with her man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, but, but why you, but some, why, some but why, me? why you say that? Like, I've been, I've been looking, I don't see nice. <laughs> He's talking about, she put up an Insta snap saying, these niggas for everybody. <laughs> hey, you know when chicks do that, that means, yeah. yeah. That is the random, that is the... the yeah, something about knowing their worth or this the last time I'm do, doing this. Yeah, that's like the Thundercat call for, for niggas. Like, yo, I'm back out. Yeah, I'm on the market. I'm not yeah. saying the cash doll is black, back on the market. No, she's But that not. is what... She's not... You just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was just tweeting? She was just tweeting. Yeah, tweet. <laughs> she still would undo? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Black girl magic. Well, if you listen to him. Yeah, you want to say something to her if, you, if she's listening? <laughs> nah, I'm no. No? You going to wait? You going to wait still? Wait it out? Yeah, wait it out. I knew she wasn't letting go of that nigga too fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I was asking for this record uh, a few weeks ago, maybe last week. Then he put it out the next morning. So I'm real happy about that. This is Tank. Uh, this is the When We Remix featuring Trey Songs and Ty Dolla Sign. Uh... And that's all I got for you guys. Check it out. This is a world, world. <laughs> I love the way you fuck me. I love the way you fuck me. That's all Trey Songs has said for 15 years, by the way. <laughs> I love when you fuck me. <laughs> Fuck. Look, he's still saying it. Oh, wow. He's still saying it. <laughs> I get so mad when they want lotion on them. <laughs> Trey, Trey is such a gentleman. I'd be, I'd be way too tired to even use the massage trick anymore. <laughs> I fall asleep on the massage. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing the massage trick anymore. Yeah, that's for Buck. Shout out to Buck. <laughs> Answer but up that gate and stop me When we Fuck When we Fuck When we Fuck When we Fuck I'm gonna be aggressive I can be a savage I just need your blessing Say that I can ask Yeah On the stairs, did it, back it to the room Had that Gucci lick it, all up my new Gucci shoes Kiss it on your neck, you told me that I'm too deep to tell your ex to leave you alone, leave you crazy I saw her face down Fight me like a pony, these niggas so phony Treat you like a trophy you know I pick up when the phone ring You know I go through till I make you scream You say my D-game amazing Ooh, D-game on strong Fuck it up all night long Beat it up, get piped on Ooh, D-game on strong 
Fuck it up all night long. Beat it up, get wiped down. I can be aggressive. I can be a savage. I just need your blessing. Say that I can nap. Yeah. When we. Fuck. When we. Fuck. Face down, ass up I'ma put all of my face in You come in while I keep tasting Now I'm breaking You a big girl and you taking I'm a laying I think I love you, I'm staying It's the kind of fucking that'll make you Make me number one on your list It's the kind of fucking that'll make you Question who you been fucking with You got plenty miles and baggage But I can still make you a savage Sponsor you, make you the baddest Have you screaming out That's brand new from Tank. That's the Win We Remix featuring Trey Songs and Todd Dollar Sign. I hope you enjoyed it. I was waiting that song for quite some time, so glad he finally put it out. I enjoyed it. All right, all right. They going to ah. R&B niggas always want to show out at the end. Ah. Um, all right, so before we get out of here, uh, let's see. Frank Ocean sues producer for copyright ownership of his blonde songs. Who wants to claim those? <laughs> I hated those songs. Uh, that's fine. What else happened, real quick, before we get out of here? I thought it was something I wanted to say. I don't remember now. Yeah. Oh, Mitch Kupchak, Hornets. How you feel? Yo, Mo. <laughs> Nothing. No, man. I'm still. I'm still fucking pissed about that draft pick, man. But whatever. Lonzo Ball. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I don't. I don't Did know he make the rookie game? Is there even a rookie game now? And all that shit with Magic now, Magic getting in trouble for shit. He's <laughs> it's just too much shit, man. We should have never brought that kid to the Lakers, man. <laughs> it's just too much shit going on now. My son will not be in L.A. if all of his both of his brothers are not drafted to the Lakers. What? Why is he in this uniform? Was Andre Drummond an All Star? He was, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we didn't see him too much either. I'd like, to, I'd like to see him a little more. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, there was a story about Kia that I wanted to, that I wanted to talk about, but I know y'all don't give a fuck about it. But I, I watch her. Who? Kia? Kia. Kaya. My neck, my back. Oh, okay, Kaya. But she, her, her, and and her partner. I don't know her name right this second, but I watched them and I followed them. They're pretty big, but whatever they do, and they're beefing now. Kaya so, and who? And her partner. Let me find out her name. Let me not, not do that. Her T. S. Madison. They're beefing her name. about what they they do. They do some type of video podcast, mm-hmm. right? Have you ever seen it? Anything? I've Heard seen of clips it? of it. I've clips of it, but it's, it's pretty big. So apparently, uh, they are beefing. If I'm correct, uh, the Madison girl licensed Queen's Court, which is the name of their shit, without Kaya knowing. So mm-hmm. Kai is saying, I created this. Why are you licensing anything? <laughs> and Shorty is saying, well, we had some business opportunities come in. Nikki wanted to holler. We were getting hot out here, so I wanted our business to be in order. Mm-hmm. Where do y'all fall on that? I mean, whenever you're on a platform with someone and it's business being done, I mean, you communicate with. You should talk. Yeah, but the party. But, but is that stealing? That is stealing, right? Stealing, yeah. yeah, for sure it is. Is it stealing if your friend is doing it? Yes. Yes, yeah, still stealing. If your friend plan on telling you? We don't know. After it's still stolen. Yeah, it's still after <laughs> stolen, buddy. All right, I'm keeping my eye on it because I really in, enjoy their their content. I know I know Kaya Kia, whatever her name is. She hates me, but I really enjoy this shit, so I'm watching out for it. <laughs> Wait, why do y'all have beef? I think I dissed her back in the day. 
You just that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what if, what if, I changed my mind. You're cool now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to do with Trey, too. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh, you guys have been great. Stick around. See you next week. Episode 151 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I bid you adieu. I got to work on my farewell. Whatever. Airhorn. <laughs>